Come on, Ian. Come on, Ian. <laughs> Come on, Ian. As the big man just said there, people deluded. I'm back again. Now, Arsenal obviously beat Brighton. As the title race continues, Liverpool are in action, hoping to go back to the top of the table. I don't look at the league table, though. That is what some of you lot said. Manchester United are trying to save their season or what they can somewhat save. You know, they're still in the FA Cup and I'm hoping they'll want to do another one over Liverpool because as an Arsenal fan, you hope they drop points. Not that I want to support United by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, it's been a terrible season. All the metrics, whether it's possession, you know, not, no statistic looks positive for Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag, there should be pressure on your spot. I hope you remain in that job as long as, long as possible. And I would describe their hopes of getting top four as slim, like it is slim. Spurs look like they could pounce on that. Emre's uh, side, Aston Villa are trying to do that. But they need to win games. You all saw the Chelsea game and it was full of calamities, which made it entertaining, which as an Arsenal fan, I want no part of Premier League entertainment. But Manchester United have to be a bit demoralised in the fashion they lost that game. They're going to have to get on with it. Social joins, I hope you're doing well and safe. We've got seven minutes until kickoff. Apologies for not sounding like myself, people. Hay fever is actually starting to smash me up and actually give me a second. Let me put, get a hay fever tablet. I can't lie to you lot, people. My nose is getting stuffy. I had football today, so I'm mad to. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Right, we're back again, folks. We're back again, man. We're back again. We're back again. We're back again. But as you can see, hey, if you have a tablet, these lot don't pay to advertise on the channel, so we're going to change the bottle. And let's try soldier through the pain, man. Shout out to all my fellow hay fever sufferers, by the way, man. It's crazy that plants and pollen have us under the ropes. And I love the summer. I love the spring or whatever it is. But that's the one thing I hate. As an Arsenal fan, these are two teams that you don't have much love for. You know, we've won the league at both of their grounds. It'd be lovely to get a guard of honour at Old Trafford. But if you're an Arsenal fan, you probably hope Manchester United could do you a favour today. Me... I know people, and I know I should say that I I just want both teams to lose, if I'm completely honest with you. And it's one where banter is going to fly either way. Ooh, what a game it looks like in the old firm, dog. We should have done a watch along for that. Looks like a madness happened. It is a hate along, of course. Haters FC, we out here. Big up yourself, John. And as Social Joins has said, we just kick back and enjoy. Whatever happens, man. I hope it's a crazy game. I do. As I say, as a neutral, I want entertainment. I want terrible defensive mistakes. I want VAR drama. I want the whole shebang, people. Forgive me, but the game is the game. That's exactly what I would like to see as a neutral. Um, and to be honest... The game should have that because Manchester United have been terrible this season, you know, but a club of their stature should not be languishing in sixth place. Um, obviously, Liverpool are getting results and they're doing what they can in Jurgen Klopp's last season at the at the helm. But they've been making games harder than it needs to be, if I'm completely honest. They, to a degree, that is Sheffield United. I remember Brighton a few weeks back and there's probably others. Uh, apparently, in terms of statistics, Manchester United have won just one of their last 11 Premier League games against Liverpool, losing six, drawing four. Though it was this exact fixture last season, they lost one consecutive home league games against the Reds in September of 2015. Uh, 
The reverse fixture between Liverpool and United at Anfield ended 0-0 in December. We don't want to see that. The Reds haven't failed to score in both league meetings with the Red Devils since 07-08. As we know, Manchester United beat Liverpool 4-3 in the FA Cup quarter um, final at Old Trafford last month. Apparently, under Ten Hag, Man United have won four of their five home Premier League games against teams starting the day in the top four. Liverpool have won six of their last seven away Premier League games. Now, for me personally... In terms of the title race, where it, regardless of what the table might be at this moment in, te- in time, in my opinion, Liverpool are the favourites. Liverpool are probably going to go and get it done. Um, I don't see them dropping a point at Anfield. Now that I've said that, hopefully that's a bad omen, but I don't see them dropping a point at Anfield. So it is away from home. If there is going to be a buckle, you know, if the e- if they're going to take a wrong turn in, um, and the ETA is going to get extended if they were following a sat-nav, it would have to be today. It's raining. I'm not going to lie. I think Mo Salah is going to do a madness today, man. So, yeah, shout out to you lot, DG, ready to watch us blitz. I mean, we're going to have to see, man, you know. Let's see if Eric Ten Hag wants to manage today or if it's going to be Eric Ten excuses. You know, a club like United used to win leagues. Now they stay losing. It's crazy, you know. And as a United fan, I know they're making structural changes that will make things happen for their club. But right now, it can't be nice. You see in Manchester City, little brothers doing what they've done in the game since Pep Guardiola's walked in and at times before that. Um, because he weren't there in 012, so they're doing that. Obviously, there's the horror historical ties with Liverpool and Arsenal are back, so you know you can't really win. Really, United have to hurt bad, might count for something. I would say the one thing, and I know it's cliche because I say it all the time, but Manchester United have nothing to lose if you lose today. Beyond the obvious, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna sell too many papers. Obviously, they're. Probably- The mic's muted. Apologies, people. But as I was saying, if, to be honest with you, a lot of these Man United players are probably fighting for their futures, if you're completely honest with yourselves. Really and truly, should be the man. Apologies for the mic issues. Don't know what stream yards on there. Today, errors come to an end. 3-1 United. Big up yourself, American Guna. It's been decent, man. I had Sunday League football earlier. Yeah, man. Just been keen to watch this game, if I'm completely honest with you. um, What else have I done? Uh... Drawing up framework for edited videos to come out and whatnot. Done life admin. So, yeah, a pretty great day. And I hope you and everyone else tuned in are doing all right. No Scotty today. I know the Scousers are happy to be fair. Guys like McTomin, they are the guys that make the difference. Today, people, uh, in terms of starting lineups for the home side, first of all, you've got Onana, Wambasaka, Harry Maguire, Kwambala. So, yeah, it shows you the issues United are facing defensively. Apparently, Lissandro Martinez has had a setback. But they've got Delort, who's had a good season, if I'm completely honest with you, but unfortunately conceded a penalty at Stamford Bridge. Casemiro does not look anything like the Real Madrid one. The systems don't make anybody thrive, but there you have that. Young Kobe Maino, who was quiet against Chelsea, but very talented. Bruno Fernandes, Ganacho, who... Had his man of the match stolen off him after uh, Cole Palmer, Hoyslin and Rashford. Kelly A. Bradley, Kwanzaa, Van Dyke, Robertson, Endo, Shabozlai, McAllister, who's arguably signed in the season. Diaz, Nunes and Salah complete the visit of Liverpool side people. Kickoff is imminent. What's your lot's predictions? I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool, man. I think United, uncharacteristically like them, they'll actually put in a half-decent performance today, maybe even take the lead. I just think... This, Whatever the footballing gods have to say about Liverpool, I just think it's their story to just keep this going. It'd be lovely if they drop points. Ten Hag said his style of play is clear and it's confused why people can't see it. Well, to be fair, there was a point where if Arteta said that, it would have looked mad. So I guess there is some truth in that. But you're a liar, bro. You're a liar, bro. You're an absolute liar. Ten Hag is a liar. He's an elite liar. I hope they stick with him, you know, as a selfish Arsenal fan. He's a liar. There's no way. And to be honest with you, obviously, I know football fans are not football managers. They ain't dedicated their lives to no tactics and stuff. There's an element that if you're in the world of football, that you understand that us commoners, per se, don't. But at the same time, United, I don't know how much thousands of fans capacity that is, but it's, what, 50, 60,000. They're the heartbeat of the club. They're the reason you lot are in these positions. So if they can't see it, then it, it's it's nonsense, really and truly. If you can't explain something that is your profession in simple terms, you don't understand it. You know, how do they defend? Do they defend? Is there a clear identity? How do they build up play? How do they attack? You're meant to be Ten Hag. I worked at Bayern Munich. I rubbed shoulders with Pep Guardiola. I was at Ajax and that. It's rugby. And even Casemiro, I think he's not worked out for Manchester United. But again, the system, 
You look at Kai Havertz, is he necess- obviously he's more confident and that plays a, 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 a part. But is he necessarily twice the player he was at Chelsea? Or is he in a functional system on top of all the other elements? I don't know. Harry Maguire. Oh, he's got himself in trouble there against against Shabozla. Shabozla being a bit tenacious. United have cleared their lines. I think that's the first warning. Don't do that. Endo, he's probably one of the most informed Premier League players of late. Manchester United are breaking here. Garnacho's there. That pass should have went 20 years ago. Surely not offside. Garnacho, could there be an early goal? He's gone round the keeper. Garnacho has scored. Garnacho, goal, goal. In fact, hold on. The offside flag has been risen. As you heard me say, it did feel like Bruno Fernandes needed to play that pass 20 seconds earlier than when it did happen. There's little protest by Garnacho. I mean, in the present day with VAR, you never know. It is best to put the ball in the back of the net. That has been an issue of Liverpool. I don't think he's offside, you know. It depends how they draw these lines. In fact, he did, nah, I, I'm not going to lie. I think it's in the balance. Maybe the Arsenal fan in me was projecting there. Was a bit of a late flag. Is VAR going to have a look? It doesn't matter about none of that. We're keeping it going. But to a degree, in the crazy game in the FA Cup, this is what happened, really. I swear United scored first in that game. Van Dijk's giving the ball away to Casemiro. Casemiro to Bruno Fernandes on this left-hand side. What can he do? Bruno Fernandes does what Bruno Fernandes does and frustrates Manchester United fans. It's a goal kick to Liverpool. That looked like a promising opportunity. It's early doors and we know Liverpool have been coping with injuries, but this has been an Achilles heel of theirs. I'm sure their fans would say that they would like to to defend a lot more crisper and cleaner. Van Dijk's gone long this time. Aims for Darwin Nunes and he's done something. It's knocked into the path of Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah, that's a good pass. Shabazz, like, it could be 1 0 Liverpool. It's a big save by Onana. And it is raining. Luis, uh, Luis Diaz, people lost his feet when he tried to get the rebound. Salah's pulled it back into the box. United have cleared their lines. Looks like an open game. Looks like it could be like the FA Cup game, folks. I'm here for this as a neutral. Mohamed Salah, Harry Maguire, a bit of head tennis going on. And it's continued here. Game hasn't settled right now. There's still probably an emotive feel to it for what this clash is. Robertson puts it into the box. Probably a teammate of Harry Maguire's could have told him he had time. He did do the right thing to clear it, but he's given it to McAllister and it's gone out actually for a throw-in for Liverpool. So, yeah, man. What about the time of normal guy? My day's been good as well. Thank you for asking. You've gone 2-0 Liverpool. The time of not working. Liverpool 4-0 effort. Boy, I can't see that. But, yeah, afternoon, Graham. Ten Hag's style of play is crying about Gabriel being a joke. I'm saying 2-2. To be fair, there could be goals in this game. I really... I'm never one to cheer on teams because it benefits Arsenal. And I'm definitely not cheering on either. But it'd be nice to see Man United winning. But I'm going 2-1 Liverpool, man. As I said earlier, I think it'll be a bit more of a even contest. But I just think the frailties of Man United will show. Liverpool do have frailties as well. I'm sure their manager and their fans would agree. But... Yeah, United is a different ball game. Yo, DG Bundy's United lot. They ain't got the minerals. Can we please get your ideal midfield free out of Patrick Vieira, Gilberto, Wilshere, Cazola, Rice, Fabregas, Shaka, Ozu, Odegaard. That's, let me take that off screen because there's a timer. That's a lot of names. Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira. Santi Cazola. Says Fabregas. Manchester United's Rashford been cleaned out there. United are still attacking. Refer said play on. I must admit, United still have the ball, but I don't see how that's an advantage to Man United. I'm sure they just taken a free kick at that point. They still have it. Wambasaka, he finds himself on his left-hand side. It's dummied by Bruno Fernandes. It's played back into Wambasaka. Oi, I can't believe it. Wambasaka, I thought he was going to go for a shot. As a fullback, you know, that's one of the best feelings in football. You know, you find yourself in a goal-scoring position. You never know if it will happen again. Garnacho's played a bit of a terrible pass to Colby Maynard. I don't know what they expected him to do. Casemiro ensures this United pressure remains. And another terrible ball into the box by United. Great tackle by the young Kimbala on or interception, but yeah, and I don't think so. I might have spoken too soon because Darwin Nunes is counter-attacking for Liverpool. He has Salah to aim for. I can't lie, a few players have lost their footing now. And it's been Liverpool players. They might need to change their boots at half time. There's 40 minutes left. It looks like it's been raining in Manchester, which could be said for every other day. But yeah, man, it is what it is in that regards. I'm hoping for a 2 2 bloodbath. You know what? I want to see goals. And I think we can all agree whether you've gone for 2 2, 1 1. Well, no one said 3 3, but you get the point. Um, everyone expects goals today, essentially. Yeah, man, it's jarring, but we're going to have to hold it. 
Hope Arteta taps up Maino because that kid is the real deal. Maino's cold, but you're not, I don't think he'll leave, man. You know, he's living his boyhood dream. He's probably going to get a new contract on mad wages. There's no need to leave. And the craziest thing is he's in a position where these young players, you can ask for some ridiculous fees regardless of his potential, which he has an abundance of. Quality player. I said it before, but I think for all the things you could talk about with Maino, for me, it's the temperament, man. Obviously, you can look at his face and see he's a young man, but just by watching him, you would think he's got 100 career appearances for Man United. He just takes it all in his stride. Bruno Fernandes is switched play. He's asked a lot of Ganacho, but he's still brought the ball down quite good, really. And he's attacking Liverpool's box. He's delivered. It's been sore out by Van Dijk. I'm sure in the summer, regardless of what Liverpool do with their project, there has to be some defensive reinforcements. Man United have turned up today, but it's six minutes and, and a half seconds into the game, essentially. And United, again, they can be their best friends and worst enemies. The Chelsea game did what? They came back from two goals down and then conceded two at the dying embers of the game. There's a lot wrong with that club. Bradley's been booked for a late challenge on Rashford, which was the foul we was alluding to earlier. Say what you want about Man United. Being a fullback for either side out there on a the yellow card in a game of this magnitude, it can be a bit sticky. We're all waiting for Bruno Fernandes to take this corner, folks, and he's done that. It's horrible. He will get another chance, though. Have a Man United day pass. If a draw happens, it's more fun, open contest, to be honest. Ben, I hear you, but as a selfish Arsenal fan, I don't want fun. Last year was fun to a degree. You know, he's fighting for the league and whatnot, but fun for me is... North London parades, Islington Council, you know, warning, warning residents. Us being able to talk smack to our friends and family that support other clubs, winning trophies. Forget the open, you know, it can be as dramatic as it wants, as long as you could assure be Arsenal with it at the end of the day, man, which is not a guarantee. That corner again was terrible from a Manchester United perspective. wan is forced to go home to the lot. And it really could have been a promising move for United, but it ain't come to nothing. Liverpool are just slow starters. And if you're Man United, you want to put them out of the game before that, that would have been a good ball into Hoysland and it's an important header from Van Dijk. I wonder where he ranks in people's and let me know your thoughts, people, in terms of best defenders in the Prem. Because he's got an, a claim to be the best outright. For me, I'm not going to say that. I think as a footballer, yeah, but everything, nah. Ramos Hoysland, attacking for United. C of Liverpool shirts, though, and he's not really helped Ganacho with that. But yeah, if Liverpool are slow starters, then United need to take full advantage of such. Or it can go left. I bet Jurgen Klopp's not going to... Jurgen Klopp's definitely not going to miss this. As a manager, no matter how much memories you've created, I don't think us normal people can comprehend the stress levels that probably go into being a football manager. From the scrutiny in the press, to planning for stuff all week and then it doesn't work out. Corner kick's finally been taken. It's fallen to Rashford. Rashford's touch was horrible. wan pass wasn't much better. And it's just about stayed in, but Bradley's gone. And I thought he was kicked there. He's actually been awarded the free kick. Big up the Russians. I haven't seen Russia here before. So, yeah, shout out you lot on Twitch. I'm saying Liverpool 3-1 today. Be lovely to see four goals. Probably should have seen one. I don't know if Ganacho was fully offside. I don't know if Darwin Nunes, you know, would have scored before he lost his footing. But beyond that, I don't think we can be surprised that it's still nil-nil. Liverpool are class when it comes to pressing. It's a hallmark of Klopp's football, isn't it, really? That high-intensity heavy metal, as it was once coined. It does well, well, generally, across his time at Liverpool. I know there's been seasons like now where they've been, you know, they've just been ravaged with injuries. It's done well to play that sort of football and keep people fit. You could extend that to Arsenal to a degree as well now. But then I could say I'm a hypocrite because... We've been dealing with injuries since August. I don't know statistically, but, you know, if I, I bet if we look, we must be up there for injury on the injury table. In terms of personnel, it hasn't quite been like Man United's or Liverpool's to a degree, but you get the point. We've been dealing with injuries since August. Liverpool could be in here. That's a decent ball into the box. Salah swiped at it. Is it a corner? I'm not too sure there, but it looks like there's a lot of space. How is your mood? I'm great, man, and I hope you lot are well and safe. True, I want to win and would take anything for that. Just feels this season is kind of difficult and asking, but would love it, especially Champions League title, but dreaming. I think Maguire is better. I think you mean better than what people say about him, but his positioning is shocking. I don't think he's athletic enough in the modern game. I think he's a generally a good defender, a good reader of the game. I think he performs better for England. I think he's obviously crossed that path where you're just going to be scapegoated. But I just think in the modern day, obviously he's athletic. He's playing Premier League football, but in comparison to your peers, it's a myth. 
Liverpool's corner wasn't that much better. It has fallen all the way to Salah. He set it to Shabozla. He's gone for goal and it's just whistled over, to be fair. I don't have one of them, mate. Allow it, man, and chill out with that. DG, what's your current team of the season? It's difficult on the spot. Hmm. Goalie. Blank for now. Declan Rice there. Phil Foden's probably there. Saka's there somehow. I'll make it work. Cole Palmer for me could be there. McAllister's there somehow. I'm just throwing out names. It's a good question. And that might be one for another video, man. I have to give thought to that, man. I'm not going to do your question justice. And I guess a lot is dependent on... Obviously, football shouldn't just be about that. But who, obviously, at the end of the day... When it's like Ollie Watkins got a shout. How the season ends. Ollie Watkins has, has a shout. Very slightly, Van. In fact, no, no. Saliba and Gabriel, centre half duo. Them two players are there for Arsenal Football Club. McAllister's found Robertson. You know what? I don't want to praise Spurs, but I'd say Destiny and Doggy's got a shout. Probably on the bench, but is it Munez or whatever his name is? The Fulham guys quietly going under the radar, handling his business. <laughs> Yo, man, man. Maguire versus Holding. Harry Maguire is twice the player Rob, player Rob Holden is. And I don't think Rob Holden is as bad as people make out, but yeah, he's quite terrible, man. And he's actually done well to cut his teeth at Arsenal for as long as he did. I do wonder before his injury, what would have been, because ironically, he got injured at Old Trafford um, where Rashford, it weren't on purpose, but he clamped him. I did think he would he could have got an England call up and we would have at least made a decent profit on the two million we spent. Well, yeah, he can't buy a game at Crystal Palace, which on paper he shouldn't have went there anyways. But considering the injuries they've had to their backline, it says everything. He's doing quite well. Should be in the championship, really and truly. But shout out to him for the FA Cup final. Mohamed Salah, when Basaka wins it. And it's actually fallen here to Liverpool. McAllister's done well to find Darwin Nunes. It's good defending from the lot. But if Diaz could have been found there, it could have been 1-0. There looks like there's a lot of space on the counter-attack for both teams. If I'm completely honest, Liverpool are a good team, but I look at them and say, can a competent team beat them because they have clear frailties? Pardon me. Yeah, they can be beaten. Arsenal have shown that. And it's weird because I think there's, I think Arsenal are improving, but I think there's several weak spots or improvements we can make. I think for as good as City are, comparing them to their self of last season, I think they can make stuff. And Liverpool got a lot of issues as well, but it's mad because Liverpool, ain't they got the least, def least defeats in the league? I know a lot of the talking points have probably been about uh, Pep Guardiola and Arteta and probably in the media drawn back in with Liverpool because of what Klopp's doing at the end of the season. But they've always been the favourites based on that. Diaz trying to fashion a shot. Can't, so he just skips past several Manchester United players. No forward option, so he's go back, he goes back home to young Bradley. Endo. Morato and Nunes. Darwin Nunes, man. Darwin Nunes, like... I think Morata, it's actually weird because Morata is actually a good striker when it comes to the general play and all of that sort of stuff. He's just not really good in front of goal, but he does have a knack of scoring important goals. And his agent is probably one of the best agents in the game, whoever that is, because Morata's always been at good clubs. Say what you want, you know, he's almost always been at Juventus, Real Madrid. He ended up at Chelsea for a bit. He's at Atletico doing okay in, in line with what they want. Shabozla, Connor Bradley. And as an Arsenal fan, it'd be nice if we could spawn a Connor Bradley or something like that within our ranks. Nunes versus Werner. Nunes by far. I don't think much of Werner. At the end of the day, he's a, you know, he's a top-level footballer, but like Werner is terrible. And on top of that, he's terrible with no confidence. At least you've, there's plenty of players, I think, are crap in the Prem. But they've got confidence, so they do all right. Like, it's just a bad combination. If you're crap, at least believe you're good. That's why, in a weird way, I almost admired Nicholas Bentner, but I hated Bentner at Arsenal. I shouldn't say that because you know if I ever meet him, we're trying to get we're trying to get content on the YouTube channel, views and that. We got Bentner, man. You're so good, so so good. In my opinion, I thought he's gonna be the next Dennis Burkham if you're listening. 15 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. But well, Vernon's so terrible up front, like he's playing off the left, and Spurs robbed themselves really and truly because alarm bell should have rang with the greatest of respect to Leipzig. Like they're trying to get rid of you mid-season for a player that on paper has played for his country, has been at Chelsea. Sure, he was there when they won the champs. Why are they so happy to let him go? Kwanzo. You know how much money that's actually saved Liverpool, even if they choose to buy inferior, better fullback than the man on the pitch at the moment. The same goes for the young Kwanzo. Robertson's done well to head it and keep it in. 
bit of head tennis. I wouldn't say the game's necessarily had quality at the moment. McAllister's found Nunes. No, he hasn't. Man United have won it back. There's a great tempo to the game for the neutrals. Great play for Marcus Rashford to set Hoysland. Hoysland needs to look up and square that ball. Touch has killed him. The chance is gone. He's done well to hold the ball up, but that's horrible. It's good hold-up play, but at the same time, it's terrible decision-making. It's still here with Bruno Fernandes. Curse to the commentator because Liverpool have won it back. Rashford has won it back. No, he hasn't. Good passage of play there. What is your score prediction for this game? I think Man United will win. I went 2-1 Liverpool. DG, did you catch the Glasgow derby? Not the same quality as the EPL, but pure drama for almost 100 minutes. Six goal thriller. I'm going to watch the highlights, man. No, I haven't. I haven't. This is the first game I'm actually watching on this. Not really fine Sunday in London, but fine Sunday because it just sounds good. It's a meaty affair. Pause. Hey. But football terms. It's a decent clash. It's raining. There's tackles going in. It's fairly end to end. There's a good tempo. Ain't really seen either keeper called into action. But 16 minutes in, this is oh the lot. That's a sexy pass. Bruno Fernandez couldn't do much. Us fullbacks never get the plaudits. He would have been offside, anyways. DJ, if we're being truly honest, Kai's better than Hoyland, but we got worse PR. I hear that. But I, I actually think there's a player in Hoyland. I don't know if he'll ever be a hundred man goal scorer and all of that, 20 league goals and all that, but I think his real profile, I like it. You know, if Arsenal had that in the squad, I wouldn't complain if I'm honest. There's a lot he needs to work on. And yeah, Kai's, I don't know if it's statistics, but I, I think Kai's performing better. He's in a better performing team. And I think Kai's general play is obviously, you know, Kai's more of a cuter and clever footballer than Hoysland, which tends to be the case with strikers. Maybe not so much in today's day and age because we've got system fours, but generally you get the point. Oh, McAllister's made a lovely run. And you see it's picked. Kwanz has found it. You see, you see people, this commentary shouldn't be free. McAllister's done well to hold the ball up. Sure, Bozlai. Tried to do his best DG impression. His shot's been blocked. Bruno Fernandes, Man United's number eight, has given it back to Liverpool. Bruno's a decent player, but he's incredibly frustrating. Mohamed Salah has found McAllister. He's here with Robertson. Robertson puts it into the box. It's, oh, it should be 1-0. It's a low-driven cross. Not a single United player has read it and dealt with it. Your boys like gallops into the box and it's fired wide. Very good passage of play and opportunity for Liverpool. Look at the amount of Liverpool runners in that box and not a single United shirt is following. Mo Salah would have been free had that trickled through to him before she was like, it's nonsense. We need to progress to YouTube or no ads in the live. So rude. Aye, right, man. Big up YouTube, man. Big up YouTube, man. We need them. We need them. It's just like TV. Young Kobe Maynard not said much about him. That's not a foul. Disarmed. Kobe Maynard, you got to have to be stronger than that, lad, which you are. It's a good... Firm but fair challenge from Van Dijk. Cough gets Sesco. Bring Sesco. I mean, how much videos, how many times have I spoken about Sesco? I think he could develop in time to be a very good striker. And there's a lot of upside because of his release clause, because of his age. I don't, I'm not saying this to because I want it to happen, but if it doesn't work out, he can make your money. Liverpool have had five shots, one on target, and seven touches in United's box. United have had no shots, none on target, and five touches. It's 58% to 42% in Liverpool's favour at the moment. wan -Bissaka. Great tackle by Kwanzaa. There's been a lot of firm tackles. It's a decent watch so far. Decent watch. Is it too early to go back on my prediction, folks? I want to stand firm in my 2-1 Liverpool shout spot. I mean, if it persists like this, I don't think we're going to see... A lot of goals, if I'm honest. It's not really been much quality in the final third. Bruno is a very good footballer with high-level fundamentals. He just needs to be chained and told red lines. Yeah. And I just think he's incredibly frustrating, man. Just gives the ball away for no reason. So, so silly. Endo plays a 1-2 with Salah. Oh, he's played it behind Darwin Nunes. But the flying Scotsman, Robertson, keeps the passage going for Liverpool. He's, a tie. he's gone for goal. Oh, he's shown why he's a left-back. But it was there was intention behind it. There was intention behind it. He's shown why he's a left-back. But again, there's a lot of space on the transition for both teams. But the end product from both sides have been, has been poor. James Rodriguez or Thomas Muller. For me, Thomas Muller. I think James Rodriguez is a bit overrated. Fantastic footballer, fantastic quality footballer, but I don't think he should have got the Real Madrid move, if I'm honest with you. 
did it in the World Cup. Didn't he go Everton at one point? I could be making all of that up. Oh, Nano of Manchester United. I haven't really seen him pick them, them passes so far. You normally see him hit some decent pingers for all his question marks. Only thing on ad blocker is YouTube will ban, but yeah, I get you both. YouTube is annoying. Hey, right, man, persist. Send her us or Segan. Send her us, man. He was there, Real Madrid away. I'll I, I give you that for all of your issues. Jogba used to bully. Jogba, well, to be fair, Jogba used to bully all them early Emirates players, but he used to get bullied. But shout out to Senderos. He was at the burn around. We had to make. I'm. I'm. Listen, my child ain't gonna lie to me. We had a makeshift back five when we beat Real. Where we beat Real Madrid at the burn about. I'm sure there was another European night. Senderos was part AC Milan when we had the white kit. I'm sure Cesc Fabregas scored. But where this game's concerned, McAllister, who's been a great sign in the number ten of Liverpool, has found the number seven Diaz. He's somewhat giving it away, but Liverpool still have the ball. Endo, is he going to go for the shot? He's tried to find Salah. Corner kick to Liverpool Football Club. I said Thomas Hugh. That Arsenal white and brown kit was so classy. I think I've got it somewhere in the loft. Quality kit, man. I, I think the kits since, since we've moved to the Emirates have been very hit and miss. I feel off recent, they've been good. Very good. But there was a period, all the kits were rubbish. Even in the early Emirates era, like, whenever Justin Hoyt was about, like, when we had that, that, I don't know why I think of him when I see that kit. That early Emirates era kit, I should find it. It's horrible. Very, very horrible. Very touchy-feely in this Man United box. It's headed on. It should be 1-0. It is 1-0. It is 1-0. Set-piece routine has worked a peach. Liverpool have drawn first blood. It's Liverpool 1, Manchester United 0. And there's probably equally a lot of Arsenal and Manchester City fans who are probably upset at Liverpool taking the lead. But they've drawn first blood. Boy, that wasn't good defending, was it? Let's see that again. It's an in-swinger by Robertson. Thank you, sir. Cut. Let's go again. It's an in-swinging corner by Robertson. It's headed on by Darwin Nunes into the path of Diaz. And Diaz has done what he needs to be done. He scored and things could go from bad to worse for Manchester United. Go ahead. Come on, United, man. You're at least, in theory, good on the transition. Rashford, do you say you like to play Liverpool? They're one of the team, the fixtures you, you're up for. Come on, mate. Bag if you can. Why are they zonal marking on the corner? To be fair, that's in the present day a lot. But that's the thing with zonal marking. When it looks, when it's, you know, done so poorly, you do ask yourself the question, why not go for man for man? Not that you can't do that poorly. 22 minutes, well, 23 minutes better. Yeah, apologies, people. It's 1-0 to Liverpool. They've drawn first blood. Oh, no, no. How Liverpool react and how Manchester United react will be key because this game ain't done regardless of that. Diaz doing some great defending. Refa said play on. In fact, he hasn't said play on. He's given a free kick in Manchester United's favour. Luis Diaz alone. Everyone, everybody. It's not even the fact that they're caught alone. Several players are flat-footed, extremely flat-footed. And they're just looking and watching like us on the TVs and whatnot. Maguire. Come on, Maguire, man. You've got something for these lot today. A draw would be enough. I'm not... Ooh, I mean... I actually don't know if that was a good pass from Harry Maguire or a terrible one. What I do know is Bruno Fernandes has lost the ball. Mohamed Salah to Robertson. Robertson, acres of space. Poor delivery from him, fortunately for United. My God, having to rely on United to beat anyone feels bad. They will turn up versus us. So 100%. You know at Old Trafford, they're going to turn up against us and they're going to have VAR moments. But I wouldn't... I ain't relying on them, man. Yeah, boy, boy, you. Sorry, I'm just yawning up the place. I'm knackered from football, people. But the grind must continue. McAllister showing great strength against his fellow Argentine Ganacho, and he's earned the corner. Still another 20 minutes left of this first half, folks. Fear can make people do strange things. Man United need to pull their socks up. Exactly. Let's see the replay again. Oh, they got off. That's a shame. Thought they're going to replay the goal from another angle. We would have seen exactly who went to sleep. Corner get kicked to Liverpool. Can they get a second? Robertson delivers. It's a decent knock. It's headed out by Casemiro. Is Bruno going to... 
it looked like Bruno wanted the ball back, played back to him, but didn't get that. And United have cleared their lines. Somewhat. I mean, someone could have told the young Manchester United defender, he had time, bring the ball down. Casemiro, that's a horrible attempt at playing the ball to the young Kobe Maino. And because of that, Liverpool have the ball again. And the pressure remains. Endo, good tackle by Kobe Maino, actually. Hoysland, they need to break. They're not breaking in numbers. Hoysland's done well. Nah, he's not really. Rashford, it's a good, that's a good turn by Bruno Fernandes. And that is a free kick. But what could have been a promising move and resulted in a goal-scoring opportunity at best is now just a dead ball scenario. Liverpool are more likely to drop points against West Ham and Fulham away than against these bums. Probably. Oh, but that looks intentional from McAllister. Why hasn't he been booked? I wonder when they're going to... And Arsenal would be in trouble as well. I wonder when they're going to clamp down on tactical fouls, folks. Can Bruno Fernandes deliver a pass to get these lot back in the game? I guess we're going to have to see. Bruno Fernandes, ooh, it's, it's a decent one. Casemiro, oh, someone's got a score. Casemiro's done very well to head it back across. That was the opportunity for Man United. It's actually a, not the best of balls by Bruno, but Casemiro's headed it back in the same direction as came from, or better yet, a cross goal. And it just needed someone to connect with it. He's done very well. The system doesn't suit your style. Fall of Rashford is kind of sad. Decent player, man, but I just think he's always played the same way for years. And at what point is Marcus Rashford going to take some accountability? Not saying he doesn't, but you've had Jose, Van Gaal, Ten Hag. You've had some good managers say what you want about them. Oh, Bruno, Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro instantly asked for that pass after United won it back. Bruno Fernandes overplaying. It's gone to Ramos Hoysland. Tried to work a goal-scoring opportunity. Liverpool, unlike them, have given it away. Bruno, Maino. It's on this right hand side now. Got that job, boy. Cleaned out. Well, in fact, a Liverpool man is down. I didn't think, I think if anything, Ganacho should be the one crying. Be more interesting when refs get fired for being awful. We all know asking for that don't work. Oh, man. I thought we'd see some more goals than this. I thought the first 30 minutes would have at least two. And to be fair, there is two minutes left for that to come true. Darwin Nunes gets back up to his feet. No organisation in United's defence. Mayno looks sometimes confused. Everyone's probably confused at Man United. I'm sure, you know, Ten Hag does his best to relay tactics, to find solutions and ways of playing. Maybe he's got the best ideas in the world and where he's probably, where he might be failing in theory could be how he, what he transmits to the players. But, yeah, United don't. It, they don't look like a functioning system. And, all oh, the young United centre-half's in trouble. That's poor. Darwin Nunes could be in. He's made up for it. But that shows you the fine margins at this level. And come by the shameless. He almost, he did the disaster thing. He made a mistake and he geeing up the fans probably to G himself up. But that's the situation. You've got to defend better if you want to cut yourself a career in the Premier League. Because on another day, Darwin Nunes does a lot better and it's probably 2 0. Harry Maguire. When he decides to pass it, I can comment. The main old kid is struggling. Casemiro not helping at all. Ten Hag is over his head at this point. Good recovery, especially against Darwin. Very good recovery. But he needs to read that situation a lot, a lot more, man. Being proactive is better than, than, than being reactive. Combala is media. That's harsh. Man, you slow on slow to turn on passes because they've got no real sustained build-up play. It's just whoever can do things on the day. They're locked. Bruno Fernandes, you could never get a free kick. Oh, that's a soft one. Guess it is a free kick. Endo, not, not having any qualms about such. 15 minutes left of this first half, folks. Liverpool took the lead via Luis Diaz, folks. I mean, Man United's Champions League hopes are slim at best, but is it fair to say if they lose today, then if there was a small glimmer of hope, that's gone. And that best, it's a Europa League campaign. Again, back to the old days, the good days. Casemiro, nodulant boss. And with the greatest of respect to Casemiro, people, but 
as great as he is in the career he's had, in theory, he's a limited player. He's a top-class player for what he does, but he's a limited player in terms of progressive passing. These are not world... Obviously, he's a good player, but these are not world-class attributes of his. This is scanning, re, you know, reactions, positioning, all of that stuff. The frailties that he currently has at this moment are obviously going to be evidently even more highlighted because of Manchester United structure. Glad we're actually getting spring weather now. I'm not. The hay fever is starting to do a madness. And I actually need a tissue, people. My eyes are watering. I'm actually dying today. See, people, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I could have peed, pussied out of this. But my eyes are getting puffy. They're killing me. Oh, I'm slightly tired as well. Like, <laughs> But we get it done. Marcus Rashford has gone all the way to our nana. Oh, na na na. Oh, na na na. I can't lie. I want to see a mistake, people. Even United's build up, you know, it's like the centre backs, one of them will drift into the middle. There has been on the occasions I've watched Man United in a couple of games and thought, yeah, there's probably a structure here. Today's not one of them. Diaz has won the ball back. What have you lot made of the game so far, people? It's boring here myself. I want to hear you lot's thoughts. But yeah. My eyes should suffice, suffice until half time. I can't I might pop another one of them. We're dying. Did you win at Sunday League? Unfortunately not, man. Absolute absolute mass of my 4 1. Smoke still. It's peak. Let's sell on that the better. I didn't get smoked though. Boring man United. Not gonna lie, we need to go for it at Old Trafford. I'm not going to lie, it'd be lovely to win at Old Trafford because, again, the last two seasons have been relatively decent from Arsenal. You know, how it started and how it ended is another thing, but they've been relatively decent in terms of getting this club back to where it wants to go. And we've had good performances at certain grounds. Like, take nothing away from going to the Etihad and Anfield and leaving with something, but it's still grounds we ain't won at. Man United have been crap. They haven't been the Man United that they used to be. And we're nervous to go to Old Trafford. Luis Diaz, Salah saved by Onana. The pass from Diaz was not the best. Salah had to strike it first time. It was slightly behind him. He's still giving a thumbs up of appreciation for his teammates. But that's how quickly Liverpool can break and break at will. McC it's McAllister again. He's a quality player, man. It would have been lovely if Arsenal signed McAllister. I don't know where he would have played. To be fair, he could have played in that left eight. Could have. Should have put that into the space for Salah. Amen, Michael. Should have played it in front of him. He killed him. Salah done well to earn a corner in hindsight, which Robertson is about to take, folks. Oh, that's a bit rubbish from Robertson, if I'm honest. It's avoided everyone. It's still alive here. Oh, another save by Onana. Oh, no, no, no. Watching Man United is like watching Sunday League team at the bottom of the table. To be fair, that's more entertaining, man. Like Man United fans can never talk about entertainment to Arsenal fans. Obviously, entertain because you do BS. Swear down, Onana's putting Vaseline on his gloves. You gotta love man them keepers, man. Shabozla. Robertson, just pull it into the box. It's a good delivery. It's actually good defensive clearances from United on that incident. Wonder if they watched Arteta against City for inspiration. Darwin Nunes goes for goal. Inches, that's what she said. A bit lower and it might be 2-0 and it could have been a Liverpool goal of the season contender. Instead, it's gone over the bar. And I would say if it does end 1-0 to, uh, to, to Liverpool, apologies, Man United, the only saving grace is it's only 1-0. I'm always bored to watch Liverpool. I don't know what it is about them. Man U, I never watch. To be fair with you, Man United, they're going to give you, in, on a normal day, it's entertainment because they're going to do BS. Liverpool, I just hate watching their games. Like when people are like, oh, do a watch for Sheffield United, forget that. You know what's going to happen. Liverpool have this air of inevitability about them. They obviously got it at home and away, but at Anfield, you can forget about trying to get something there. Where's my wall? That's a bummer. And the chair needs some WD 40. That is a bummer. Where's my wall? Liverpool have had 12 shots, four on target. United have had no shots, none on target, just seven touches in Liverpool's box and 47% of the ball. I mean, I thought the start for Manchester United was fairly promising, if I'm honest. Now it's not quite that. Robertson attacking down this left-hand side. Ganacho trying amicably to defend. Robertson's found Shabozlai. Shabozlai is falling to Salah. I don't even think Shabozlai meant to find Salah, but nonetheless, it's a poor attempt from Mohamed Salah. Poor attempt. Probably the one man you would want it to fall to. But again, 
Liverpool have broken far too easily and at great pace. It's like watching a training exercise. Oh, Nana's goalkeeping fundamentals are so poor. Can't believe he made it this far. He just wants to be a central midfielder, man. But I do feel, again, I have question marks over and he definitely don't look like the man that played a star role in getting into Milan to the Champions League final. I think he would look a lot better if United had a damn structure. They can't defend, so your keepers' frailties are going to shine even more than they already are. I mean, he had an unusual turn in life in that, you know, he came up through La Masia and then he went Ajax. So, you know, that's probably why he's so comfortable on the ball. I feel, I feel like, what happened to Anana? Didn't he miss a year of football or something like that? We go on Wikipedia. I'm sure you missed something. Been at Inter Milan. Been at great clubs, though. Didn't you miss football? You did. I don't know why Wikipedia's not saying anything. Didn't you miss football for a bit? For doing something? Pick up yourself, DG. DG. Appreciate that, 2 3. Maguire's in trouble. He's done well against Diaz. What do I know? He's actually done well. Have I spoken too soon? Potentially. No, because Colby Maynard's ensured that United could potentially break here. Rashford's got his head down. Roadrunner settings. I thought the ball went out there. And I think the ref agrees too. Yeah, and I got banned for a year for doping. There you have it. Have we all got that one cousin that supports United and say Saka's bad? All of them, they, they would love Bukayo Saka. He's not in, first, it's he's not entertaining. He don't turn up in big games. He's a left back. Bro, Saka does this. Even scumbags pens. Took his wife pills and got banned for that doping. That's a that's a good excuse for him, really. And truly ain't it, man. Do we really think that? But to be fair with these footballers, and obviously some people are, are more careful than others, but as a footballer, you could get you could get that if you know, let's just say your club didn't know there was a banned sub substance in some special Lucas aid. You get you drink the special Lucas aid, you've tested positive for this, you're out. Where you think the club has your best interest. So you just, you never know. Shabozla, McAllister, has that ball found Connor Bradley? It hasn't, but the very intent from McAllister. McAllister's such a baller. Expected more from Saka yesterday. I think we all did, man. He scored. But forget his pen for a sec. I genuinely, we got 103 likes. Thank you very much for that. I genuinely thought, because I actually think Brighton started well, but I felt like it was the first 20 minutes. I think Gabriel went close, and I'm sure Saka had that great effort in the first 20 minutes. Where he's danced past a couple of players and the effort's gone wide. So, yeah, man. But is there a correlation between Bakayo Saka pulling out of the England squad? It's well known he hasn't been training. You know, he missed a couple of training sessions in the build up to City, wasn't risked against Luton. Is there any surprise he doesn't look like the Bakayo Saka we're accustomed to? I'm not sure. I'm just being devil's advocate here. Let's see the other results in the Premier League. And I think the greater game, in fact, you know, if Liverpool win today for us Arsenal fans, let's just hope Nottingham Forest do the business against Spurs, folks. In terms of Premier League fixtures played so far over this game week, people, Manchester City won 4-2 against Crystal Palace. It was 3-3 between Aston Villa and Brentford. Everton beat Burnley 1-0. The same scoreline saw Newcastle beat Fulham. Luton 2, Bournemouth 1. West Ham United 2 Wolves won, and obviously Arsenal, best of the week, as usual, 1-3-0. Oh, right, Will Prowse scored. FPL points. Let me actually see my FPL team. Let me see what we did. We must have done something good this week. 55 points. Who did that? Harlan got 16. Saka got, set, got, got 10 because he's my vice captain. Okay. No one else. Fair enough. Certain star boys getting hat tricks while certain ones pour sauce on this jill That's great, man. Eddie and Ketty got a hat trick. So what? Eddie and Ketty, before he actually went to Halen, he was at Chelsea. So you could argue he's the best Chelsea Academy grad. Allow it, man. That's great. You know Cole Palmer's hat trick was stinky as well. I listen. You know, I'm not a biased fan. A hat-trick is a hat-trick. I think Cole Palmer is a great player. I think he'll end up as a 10 or an 8, but the modern-day CG player is a, a, you know, a, a wide attacker, and he's great at that. I think he's got that it factor about him. He wants to have responsibility. That's how I actually feel about it. But since you're starting war, oh, the lot and Darwin Nunes are getting into handbags. But since you're starting the war, 
what a deflected shot and two pens. That's what we're rating. Stinky hat trick. Stinky. Rise up the goal catalogs. Let's go on YouTube right now and look at Cole Palmer's goals for Chelsea and the ones for Arsenal. He can score screamers. He scored one against us in the community. Shield. He's a quality player, man. One of the signings of the season. And I, I don't feel sorry for anything Chelsea, but if I was in, if I was connected to Chelsea, I feel sorry for him. He's one of the one players that stands up to be counted. It's a bit like Kobe Maynard at Man United. Like how many of these United players can say stand up to be counted? I don't think any of them don't care about who makes the difference. We're in the golden boot race. So are we. Wait. You just don't like Saka because of what he's done to your club, man. Always comparing him to stuff. And you're hating on a, on a, on a young man getting a, a Nando's deal as well. You see what hating does to you? Hating on him getting endorsements. Hating. He gets endorsements. Cole Palmer, that same dead me, and I'm shameless, I put it on my Instagram story, of him with the night boot, pretending to be vibes. So he's from St. Kitts. He's not even a yard man. Counterfeit. The role is ticking. Fake youngsters. Shit dons. It should be 2-0 Liverpool, if I'm completely honest with you. Diaz can't believe it. Eddie Hattrick. Bro, Eddie, Eddie and Ketia's Hattrick was definitely better. But we're not talking on that. That's cool. You can have the Cole Palmer thing. Swear Kai Havertz has more goals than your out-and-out -out strikers. Why did you let him leave? Should have been part of your rebuild. We've got Jorginho overlap. 50-year-old Jorginho overlapping down the right-hand side. We're not the same. Say what you want about Jesus and Zinchenko. When we bought them for City, there was, you could see the use they had. Sterling, I'm so sure I went past Halsden the other day. I see Sterling with Curry Goat just posted outside. Why do you, think you thought Sterling was going to move back to London and be lit? Horrible. Still gassing up Madueke. He's decent off the bench. Top Blue, you wanted to fight, let's have it. And Top Blue, forget all of that. Chelsea spent a billion quid and you're fucking shit right now. Stop, man. What the hell? Mudrick in that. Mudrick and Konku, you look a gassing him in pre season. You look a gassing in Konku. I swear you had to wait a year for him. <laughs> Look, I got him. You lot tried to bring Disassi to the table. Bring Jackson for what? Bring Jackson for what? We got Gabriel Jesus. If it's not a striker that's going to bag goals, forget that. All your players are dead. Don't think I don't see Kai say those consistent mistakes as well. Declan Rice can pass the ball and he's becoming an eight. You saw what happened when Kai Sado tried to play stinky, silky football at Stamford Bridge this e last, e last week evening. What was it? Last Tuesday evening or Wednesday evening, whenever the game was. In fact, it was this week. You're rattling me so much. I've lost track of time. Salah, oh! Salah actually played a lovely pass and it could have got to Darwin Nunes. The only players I'm taking from Chelsea. Yeah, and he and Enzo Fernandez. You lot got sold a dream, but he, you know, he's quality. Caicedo, you got sold a dream, but I'll have him. Mudrick soft, but I'll take you try to buy him so he can work something now. All your players are just make belief. It's always what you can do, what they can be inferior, apart from Palmer. My players actually do it, done it, doing it. Please, you spent a billion, you got Pochettino, serial loser, and you feel they do bits. That's funny, man. Harry Maguire had hands all over Salah there. And Salah's only got a throw in. Man said Jackson, you know. I'll take Omari Hutchinson as well, because he's a former Guna. You know what I mean, man? Stop it, man. Be serious. Be serious. Come on. Come on. And the saddest thing with Chelsea, I don't know why that won't come off screen. Gusto's lit. Gusto, I love Gusto. The thing with Chelsea, I think they can turn it around. I want to use the term quite quickly, lightly, but I I think they could move on certain players. But the, the, the playing squad on paper is not bad. Like It's actually not bad. So Chelsea have to take its full responsibility. Again, when Arsenal were crap, and obviously when Arteta came in, you have to take responsibility. When Liverpool were crap before clock, you have to take responsibility. You don't just wake up. United at this moment as well. You don't just wake up and your team's this terrible. I think, you know, you look at the structure, things that United are trying to put in place. Longer term, you know, because that remains to be seen what Chelsea are trying to do. But in terms of the immediate playing staff, of course, it's going to have to be chopped and there's improvements to be made and question marks over players. But Cole Palmer, Gusto, Reese James. Oh, it could be too. Oh! It's a fantastic one-two from the Liverpudlians. Darwin Nunes has gone for goal. Has Onana saved that? The camera angle wasn't actually quite kind. Did it go wide? Let's see that again. This left-hand side needs to be addressed by Man United. Did Onana save it? I think he does get a touch. But yeah, as I was saying, Gusto, James, um, a fit through far the Leicester one, Sterling, Mudrick, 
Enzo, uh, I wouldn't want to play Gallagher all the time, but Gallagher, there's a decent crop of like group of players, better yet. United, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't quite say that extends so far. Like, if I was a manager, I'd rather work with what Chelsea have at this moment in time collectively. Reese James quality, but injury shagging him. Like, and at some point, well, they already are. Like, this is going to be your story, or you're not going to be what you wanted to be. And you know, again, I'm no physio or anything like that, and I don't actually know what injuries Reese James has had the most. But do you have to adapt elements of your game? Salah, McAllister, Shabazz, like bang it, Shabazz, like Collar Bradley, corner kick to Liverpool. Doing the Spurs watch along today? Nah, man, not the Forest. Nah, man. Poch thanks for saying you don't want to come to Arsenal. Don't want you, mate. Got a real manager. He says the same thing about Barcelona. Shout yourself, don't it? <laughs> Sterling's cashed out. But then again, again, like, if all of these players are not performing, do you look at the manager? Do you look at the structure? What is it? In swinging corner is pending here today, people. Robertson can Liverpool add a second. Will have a, Liverpool add a second. DG Hoysland is a bum, bro. Watch his pressing. He makes so many stupid pointless runs. I think there's a lot to work with him. Like, he could be a bum. Like, he don't play for my football club. But I think there's a blank canvas to turn him into something. Personally, I think Man United need to sign Ivan Tony. They need an experienced guy to kind of help ease the burden. Currently, Luis Diaz's goal separates things here, folks. What are the statistics saying in relation to this? I would say it started off fairly open. When the game kind of got into the core chunk, I would say Liverpool took control and kind of been, well, they have been the better side. And definitely for like the last 10 minutes towards the end of that first half, it's just Liverpool breaking. If I'm Liverpool, if I'm Jurgen Klopp, I'm sitting there saying we need to be a bit more compact and switched on defensively. We need to finish our chances. If I'm Ten Hag, I'm saying United are quite fortunate that it's only 1-0 based on how the first half ended. Sterling is going to come good, trust me. You don't play to his, you don't play to anyone's strengths, but you don't play to his strengths. You know, Sterling game is based on anticipation, on running in behind and high volume chances. He's never been a good finisher per se, but there's a reason he scored all the goals and be was a key player for City. You don't play to any of your players' strengths. Like Caicedo, for example. You know, ironically, we're watching McAllister at this moment in time. How good did he how much better did he make Caicedo? And I'm not saying that to this Caicedo. Your teammates should make you better. Everyone around you should make you better. Um, really. I look at Kaiseido, clearly he's not the best in terms of passing and build-up play and progressive passing. You leave him kind of hung out to dry. I wouldn't be able to tell you what Enzo Fernandez needs, but there must be a reason on top of his personal accountability why it isn't happening. So, yeah, man. I don't think Chelsea's squad is bad. Statistically, people, United have had no shots, none on target. 42% of the ball made, 198 passes. They've had three corners, however. Uh, again, the timer is still running. We are at half time. So apologies for that, folks. Let me go back over here because we were reading something. Liverpool have had 15 shots, four on target, 58% of the ball, 262 passes and eight corners. So on the balance of things, they deserve their lead. But again, if you're Jurgen Klopp, can you convert your chances better and quicker? I'm not too sure. People, I can't lie to you lot. I'm going to get another hay fever tablet. Quick moment break. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button and whatnot. I see Shabazz Lai's trying to score crackers. So I might as well show you an absolute sizzle. Oh, that flop.
Back again, folks, again. Your match predictions, your updated match predictions, where you think this game is going. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think there's drama? Let me know. Place my bottle of water down. Do my half-time stretches like I'm warming up. Oh, yeah. It's not been the most exciting of games. I thought the tempo kind of died. I think United are a bit predictable. I think the build-up plays too cumbersome. I think it's things that, if it wasn't necessarily isolated to today, folks, that have been United's issue, like Bruno Fernandes has been creating, but in terms of build-up players, not his non-existence. I don't think Casemiro's playing rubbish, but he's limited. They're just holes. But you never know. One nil is a very, 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 very dangerous one. Man. And it just takes a moment. Because if I'm honest, Liverpool do look susceptible on the counter-attack. And I think for the last two years, I do think there's too many gaps, too, cons too, too much on a consistent basis between their centre-halves. I can't lie, that defending for that goal is horrible. From a Liverpool perspective, I don't know who their set-piece coach is, but he'll be absolutely proud of that. Because look at the run from Luis Diaz. Again, it's a it's a funny old tale of events and how things have worked out. But Diaz has just ghosted through. It's almost like, rightly so, he's anticipated that Diaz might get the knock on, which he did. And it's a good finish because he's kind of fallen on the floor. It's Dyer DG, cold red, actually cold black. How can Ten Hag actually say he has a style of play? Do you know what? If I was a manager, I'd be a bit defiant. And I can't accuse Ten Hag of lacking humility and whatnot, like a pick him up, because I think he did iftar with, like, obviously the people who are connected to, to Manchester United that are Muslim. So I can't accuse him from a personal point of view of being arrogant and not being a good person. But purely as a football coach, I think you're a piece of shit, if I'm honest with you. Mic issues, people. Apologies. Let's connect that one back. This is a man. Yeah, let's go again. Um, I think he's a liar. Like, you know, you, you did a lot of big talk. Like, if you go on a job interview, people over, over, um, over promise and under delivery. You did a big, lot of big talk. And if you walk away tomorrow, yeah, you've won a league, you've won a league cup. You know, you've won something at Manchester United. You can you can say that. Like, you can actually say that you've won something. It's a results-driven business. But what is his brand of football? What are you? Like, what are the transferables that got you the job of, based off what you've done in Holland and the whole ethos that you've developed? It's a lie. And he just seems very arrogant. Like, you know, in life, everything's your fault. Whether you believe you've been hard done by or not, he just seems like a person that makes excuses. Maybe it's the way he conducts himself in the media and he believes actually quite the opposite. But that's just, for me, how he kind of portrays himself. Bring on Diallo. Fair enough. They should bring on Mount for Bruno and Anthony. I think you got to keep Bruno on for a bit, man. Free Maynon? Needs to, man. Bro, they really tried to tell us Bruno is better than Odegaard. I had some Manchester United supporting friends, yeah. And maybe some of them. There was a time where Bruno Fernandes was playing amazing. It must have been his early days. Chad say gets in the City eleven. I'd have Bruno Fernandes at Arsenal, but there's no way he starts. He's got a lovely footballing brain of sorts and a good technical level, but he's very wasteful. It's another one that, for me, the pros of the team are not outweighed by it. Like, I just don't... He's easily one of the most frustrating players in the league. But he does have the trait to score goals. The amount of times Nunes gets caught offside every game is actually kind of funny. I like him, though. He's definitely improved overall. I want to apologise to Diaz for... <laughs> You're moving, man. Casemiro and Maino positionally need to be better off the ball, but they've had this issue all season. There, you said it, Jay. Like, it's, it's the same old thing. He's a Muppet. Bumpy John, he is a Muppet, man. He is, he is, he is, he is. He's like, I just don't think you're admirable at all. I think you're a bit of a weasel, man. Like, I, I just think as a manager, and it's not my opinion, you can have your excuses, but fundamentally faced in music, and he does, it always seems like everything is everyone else's fault, and he just acts like football is this magical game where there's, you know, fates don't twist and turn and all of those sort of things, if I'm honest with you. Like, he just really... He's an idiot. Sometimes it's okay to say we got it wrong. We just weren't good enough. He'll say we played well. We deserved to win. We was better, you know. And you might be right for what it's worth. You might, you might be right. Football's a funny old game. You might play very well and lose. You might play crap and win. But if you're saying this all the time, does the penny have to drop? 
if they sort the midfield out, they can turn this game around. Just play 4 4 2, put Tresford up top. That's harsh. When he drifts left, Bruno should go in midfield. He would take our great club backwards. Yeah, I don't want Ten Hag nowhere near Arsenal, mate. Or Bruno. It's funny, though, because I didn't want to try to sign Mason Mount before Kai Havertz. I don't know if that would have led to him signing both, but it's funny how signings work out. It's a bit like Gabriel and Sandro Martinez because Gabriel were well, Arsenal, Everton, Man United were in for Gabriel to some degree. Even City were looking at him. The Athletic said this, and we wanted Lissandro Martinez. I always feel how things would have changed. United are terrible. Shabazz like, though, if I talk, I'm in big trouble. I think he's doing all right. Really only seeing him when it comes to attempting to pull the trigger um, in, in, in United's area. Probably should have had a goal himself early in the first half, if I'm honest. But, yeah. The guy still complains about the Arsenal game back in September. Calvin, he needs to let it go, man. He needs to let it go. He needs to let it go. But will he? Will he even be there next season? Previously in the world of football, you could say he probably wouldn't, but yeah. It's crazy. And as an Arsenal fan, if United continue to play this way, United's defensive shape... Can't like Arsenal and cut them open, man. Absolutely cut them open. Reports in Brazil, reports in Brazil, reports in Brazil are saying Ajax wants to sign Casemiro permanently and Anthony on a one year loan. Might be nonsense. Rashford's slide tackle in that half. You're leaving with something. Man, what happened to Ahmad? He scored the winner and Ten Hag turned his back on the youth. Don't believe in his thing like that. Let's be honest. Like he's not favoured. Like he, it, it's admirable that the uh, that uh, Diallo wanted to stay and not go on loan and fight for a spot. But he ain't really played. And to be honest, we take nothing away from him because there should be opportunities for him, especially when people in his positions haven't been playing well. But you come on in the FA Cup because you know United at the time needed you to come on and you made a difference. It's a bit like it's a bit different. Obviously, Mikel Arteta rates Reese Nelson. But, you know, when Reese Nelson's better moments at Arsenal, you know, they've either come where, you know, the game's already done or we need to occasionally rest people. But it's true best moments. Games like Bournemouth where that's why you need a squad. But it was plan zero. I needed someone to just be a hero. Should get opportunities, man, because he wants to make it at Man United. In the same way, obviously, Mayno is fully aware of, you know, where Man United are in the table and all the footballing talking points with that. In a nice way, he might be a bit naive. He might not think about that too much because it's like, wow, like I'm actually realizing my dream of playing professional football. Hoyslin or Jackson, DG. Another one is called a stinky hat trick. I'd rather work with a player like Hoyslin, but I think Jackson's probably better than him at this moment in terms of the general play and all that jazz. Maynard ain't got the off-the-ball attributes. Even if he was older, short-legged, his engine ain't built for the running game. Harsh, man. It's just something he's going to have to attempt to install. Bar Sheffield, United are the worst coach team in the league. Yeah, I think that's got a shout, man. Yeah. Because you can't say Bournemouth, you know. They, I think they got that Spanish brother. He's doing all right. Regardless of where they are on the table, you can see a philosophy. I think Gary O'Neill is one of the most underrated managers, so you can't say Wolves. Deserby, he's 30. Arsenal, you know what Arteta is doing. Can't say that about Pep or Klopp. Uh, you know, I'm not going to applaud Spurs, but I would say, you know, a bit like, you know, making Ten Hag looking a bit funny and adding fuel to the fire. Since the moment uh, Postacoglu walked in at Spurs, you can see what he's trying to do, so I wouldn't say him. Burnley are probably, you know, Burnley are so coached to the way company wants to play that they're probably just too naive to stay in the league. So you can't say them. Um, Luton are well coached side. They just ain't really got the quality to, to hang in the division, really. I mean, Everton got a lot of issues, but Sean Dice, you know what you're going to, you know what to expect with a Sean Dice side. And I think that's reflected to a degree in Everton. Yeah, really. I'm not on the 19th, I'm on the 13th, this Saturday. Well, next Saturday. But yeah, April, baby. Hoisling is meaty too, no final pass, no killer shots, just bare WWE wrestling in the box. And he doesn't win the fights, getting pushed like he got nutmeg in the playground. I mean, he does look like that at the moment. That's harsh. If you haven't liked, comment or subscribe. What you're doing, appreciative to everyone who's hit the like button so far. The second half is pending, folks. Has there been any changes? Doesn't appear so, at least we haven't been told. 
I mean, the Casemiro's, the Brunos, ev everybody, but these players have to step up for Man United in times like this. We're making Bradley look like he's been balling the Prem for years. Get me, man. I don't know nothing, my guy. United, Sheffield United, Man United, Chelsea, the three bad teams, to be honest. To be I'm doing great. I'm doing great, man. To be fair, you're right. Chelsea's there. I would say, based on what I've seen from Chelsea, Man United, Sheffield United, yeah, bang on the money, Ben. Bang on the money. Imagine that if you're Jurgen Klopp, you're trying to focus on the man on the game. Random person spudding you. Someone's got a camera right there. 4 4 2, get mount on. But who plays in the hole? Well, to be fair, Casemiro and, and, and Mayno. And you are right about, you know, the movements between Bruno and. Rashford, which you said earlier. Could go, could do. You know what, United is mad, but the mount shout's not that bad. I ten hard kills me when I'm coming out. Passion merchant settings. He's just a moaner, man. Pause. His moans far too much. And they were too busy showing us ten hog that, you know, we've now been shown kickoff. Not quite sure what's gone there, but it's a goal kick to old Nano. Our cup final DG is against you, man. Such is life, innit? Such is life. Unfortunately. Who invented this skip? Not a clue, dude. I mean, it'd be nice. At least a draw. Come on, United. Come on, United, man. You can bag, man. Believe in yourselves. Believe in yourselves. This is old Trafford. Sir Alex Ferguson's there. Come on. It, the Sir Alex Ferguson gimmick played out, man. He's watching that get slapped enough times. McAllister. He's going to go for the shot. Ah, Casemiro couldn't intercept it. It's here with Bradley. Maybe McAllister held onto the ball too long. Salah. Shabozla. Was that the right pass by Shabozla? Doesn't matter, it's offside. Old man Casemiro needs to start thinking about MLS or Saudi, maybe even go back to Brazil. Get money, man. Go get money. Saudi settings. Or Italy for a year for no reason, then Saudi. Got nothing less to, left to prove. Technically picked up a trophy. Harry Maguire looking to knock it into the channels. I mean, surely if you're going to test Liverpool's defence... And, and try and give Rashford service. It's better to give him the ball in behind than trying to make him header it on and whatnot. Would you take Anthony as backup at Arsenal? Not at this moment in time. It's going to cost too much money beyond big wages. And you're not really going to have, you know, if he is backup or a rotation option, you need to have confidence when he comes into the side. Doesn't make sense. Kobe Mayno. Gives it away. Pardon me. Darwin Nunes attempting to lead a counter-attack for, for Liverpool Football Club against Man United. I think we're all waiting for Darwin Nunes to pass the ball. And he's actually done brilliant to find Robertson. Andy Robertson, Harry Maguire actually. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, Harry Maguire's intercepted it and he's knocked it into the path of Darwin Nunes. who shot and then he's blocked the, the, the resulting shot. Marcus Rashford now looking to give looking to give Bradley a run for his money. What can Marcus Rashford do here? Decision making will always be his best, his best friend or his worst enemy. And for the last few moments of his career, it's been his worst enemy. The less said about that, the better. Mohamed Salah skips past a few Man United players, tries to feed Darwin Nunes. The young Kimball has done well. Kobe Mayno, hey ref, he glides past your buzz line and the ball is ricocheted off the referee, folks. Second person after Graham, big him up to say that the old firm derby was cracking. I need to watch the highlights. Ganacho. I don't think he's a winger, man. I'm more likely to take Marcus Rashford at Arsenal. But then we've already, and I'm not, and I'm going to sound like a hypocrite because in theory, if we was to sign Sesco, he's a project. I'm all for that. Or half the players we're linked with. I'm all for that. So I'm going to sound like a hypocrite, but I don't really want any more projects at the football club. Like, in theory, I'm not really for the Rashford signing, but I, I, it's another project. We've already got a lot of those. Now, just keep making sure this Kai Havertz thing happens. And you're going to occupy the left and up front. 
Oh, McAllister's done very well to skip past Bruno Fernandes. Luis Diaz, the goal scorer, what can he do? Can he help Liverpool get a second? Not if he passes like that. And wan has cleared it, but he's straight back here with Liverpool. The second half has kicked off where the first half literally left off. He'd have to potentially fix his attitude, but we don't know Rashford as a person to be getting on his attitude, man. Get Anthony on, he'll turn up. He can hit a good long shot every now and again. Yeah, but now and again, we need a bit more than that. And again, Marcus Rashford, again, I don't care what you get paid because it's nothing to do with me, but he's going to be on big money. Oh, young Kwan's is giving it straight. Hey, Bruno Fernandes! Has scored the goal of the season contender, the Capitano. Hated, adored, but never ignored. Bruno Fernandes, a blink of an eye. Young Kwanzaa wants the world to open up. He's played a nonchalant pass. Bruno Fernandes is... Oh, that is... Uh, you need to watch it. If you're just listening, the commentary is not going to do it justice. You need to watch it. Keep it off his line. Egg on face and whatever you say about Bruno Fernandes, I did say he has the capacity to score goals and he's did that. What a finish. Young Kwanzaa learns a valuable lesson. Nonchalant backwards pass straight into Bruno Fernandes. Kelly, I don't know what he's doing out there. It's cold out there. If, if your mum was there, she'd say, bring your jacket. It's cold out there. He's staying in your area. Don't know what you was doing there. And on a serious note, he's probably looking to offer a passing option in line with the modern day. But you had no right being off your line. And to be fair, you've been done dirty by Kwanzaa. But all you can do is scramble. Man, you probably got a little fingernail on it. Boys, peak. It's 1-1. One, one. It's game one. And it's a great finish. Everyone gets confused because they love the idea of what Rashford could be. But it's too late. It's 27. Rashford's a left winger because he couldn't cut the mustard as a strike. He's a he can play up front, but you're a left winger in. You know, Rashford, even when he has them high scoring seasons, you never really are convinced. Bruno Fernandes, who's got his team back in the game. Marcus Rashford. Oh, you're asking a lot of Hoyslin. It's amicable that he tried, but you're up against that monster Van Dyke. Bradley. Wamba Saka intercepts. Come on, man. Charles Fergus is here, boys. You can do it. Come on, lads. Yes, may no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Arsenal need this. Bradley, Darwin Nunes. We all know Liverpool going to pattern this, but cool. Look, this Kimbala, you... I, I doubted him. I doubted him. Wakanda settings. Oh, he's a passion merchant. He's doing all of that. I doubted him. You're going to get sold one day. United, you're not going to have a future there, but you did your thing. <laughs> that tech on that goes brazy, bro. First shot on target as well. Scandalous behaviour. Scandalous behavior for Man United. Oh, clock looks serious. It's game on now. It's game on now. Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. The internet's a funny place when United are making mistakes. Harry Maguire trying his best to allow Liverpool to get a second, giving it away very cheaply. Oh, the lot. You're lucky that pass made it to the young Maino. What can Maino do? There's not too many options in front of him. Colby Maino, Marcus Rashford. I think this is where the optimism dies. Marcus Rashford. I mean, he's passed the ball. That's good. Casemiro, this is where the move was kind of slowed down. Ganacho, movie settings. Deflected. Did that deflect off a Man United player or a Liverpool player? That has given United a lot of confidence. 1 0, a dangerous scoreline. What happened, DG? Uh, from a corner kick, Diaz obviously put Liverpool in front. And just a few moments ago, I did think the second half kicked off in the way the first half ended in that Liverpool were kind of, quote-unquote, having the joy of proceedings. But the young Kwanzaa has played a nonchalant pass infield. Kelly is off his line. Bruno Fernandes has bought a raffle ticket and he's won the lottery. It's a terrific finish. Corner kick. Remember these lot spanked you like seven goals or something, man. Remember what Salah did to Lissandro Martinez. Come on. Rashford tries to deliver. Oi! It's Buki. Oi! Liverpool look, Liverpool look rattled. That's why you're told in Sunday League, put the ball into certain areas. It's a terrible one in truth by Rashford, but he's put it in there. Casemiro going for it has probably made the keeper a bit shaky. And Van Dijk, which he has been doing, mops up. It's getting hella interesting. And we need the 12th man at Old Trafford to make noise. Come on, man. 
all of you Manchester United supporters based in London that have your Sky Sports season tickets, your team needs you. Ganacho, Casemiro wanted 20 million years and Liverpool are counter-attacking. This is scary. It's peak. It's going to get peak. It's going to get peak. Shobozla, Mohamed Salah, Diaz is peak. D rah, rah. Diaz squares it. It's horrible, really. It's a horrible Liverpool move, but they somehow ended up with a corner. And that is one big criticism of Liverpool today. They've broken so well, but that final action hasn't been well enough. As I said at half time, I'd say the only criticism Klopp could say for his boys is we need to score some more. It's a fantastic break. Just moving up. It's a bit slower, man. Come on, come on, come on. You lot are putting your hope in Man United, you know. After you see what they did at Stamford Bridge, 100 minutes, and with what you're seeing. Enjoy the game. This is what Liverpool been doing every week. It's like, oh, it's a close game. This is all for the clock documentary at the end of the season when they win the league and all of this. It's industry stuff, man. These are industry plants. United, football deserve Arsenal to win the league, man. I support United because I know they're going to collapse it. Shabazz like about to put Liverpool back in it. Thank the Lord for Wan-Bissaka. Connor Bradley, come on, United fans, man. You lot have once upon a time said Wamba Saka was the best right back in the league. Casemiro rolled this. What's the ref stop the game for? Don't know. Darwin and Jesus went to the same striker school. I take Darwin Nunes at Arsenal. What for? I don't know. But I just like the way he approaches games. He's frustrating and he's always offside and he's... He, I guess the word for him is like unorthodox. Great one, two down the right hand side. It's another corner for Liverpool. How long is Allison injured? I'm not sure personally. Darwin is mad funny. Just feel like they don't play for the manager. United have to raise the levels. I hear you, and I'm not saying that you're not saying this, but I always find it funny when if players are feeling like that, because cool, you might want to get the manager sacked or whatever, but Anyone that's played Sunday League, it's not nice to turn up and, and just lose games. So I can't imagine, because at the end of the day, this is lot's profession. The least you can do is turn up. Turn up for yourself. You have to watch Liverpool in the break or you're in trouble. Fabrizio said we're going to sign a striker in the summer. We've been hearing that, though. Rise up their names in the talks. Darwin Nunes tries to fashion a shot. Bruno Fernandes has headed it as far as on the edge of his area. Darwin Nunes tried to turn on the ball. It hasn't worked. He's only tried to control the ball and it hasn't worked. Ganacho, I can't lie, United, you need to bring on an attacking change, man. Bruno, that's a terrible pass. Rashford could have been on his back. It's getting fairly end-to-end. -end. And Liverpool look like they're about to start reminding Man United that although they've drawn themselves back in the game, we can and probably will score again. Connor Bradley, he squares it to Salah. Salah! Mohamed Salah tries to make space for a shot. McAllister is blocked. United living very dangerously. Hoisling attempts to give chase. I think that's a fair clash, the ref. Come on, come on, come on. So you mean to tell me Liverpool in the title race and they're missing Kanate in the final fur furlong of it? Well, who would have known your key centre-half being out injured could potentially cost you points? Absolutely crazy. One love, my dude. Darwin is a wild card, but if Arteta got him to be less offside, I think he'd be a problem. I think he could score goals, man. Like he'd score some ugly. All his goals would be ugly. He'll score in a case. He's he's such a dodgy player. He'll score some great finishes, but the majority of them are just ugly goals. But he'll get them. And to be honest, your option off the left, just in terms of doing a job. Where did Fabrizio Romano say that, man? Because we're always searching for content. You know, the vids have to come out. You can help me with my homework. Bruno Fernandes. Ganacho, come on, man. It's here with Rashi. Rashi. Where's Martial? Bring him on for no reason. I can't lie. That cross that Rashford's doing, is the second one that's been crapped by him. But when it's been put in, it's caused trouble. Liverpool breaking with the goal score of their goal, Luis Diaz. I don't think he's been fouled. But nonetheless, Liverpool are playing on Shabazz line. Connor Bradley. Yeah, I don't see that Romano thing personally on the net. Mount would cook. Can't remember the time I rooted for United. I ain't rooting for them. 
Pardon me. Shabazz last found Darwin Nunes. Nunes. Kobe Maynard with an important interception. You're all right. Nah, that's not a foul, man. You are right, man. Nunes is literally a cross between Peter Crouch and Maradona. I mean, now fan for today. Nunes is uh, Nunes is a very, very weird, weird player. Arsenal lost the league when Saliba got hurt. How are people sleeping on Canati's injury? The rhetoric. I still think Liverpool will get it done, unfortunately. No chance that decision making is poor. Look at that last chance. Romano said we're going to try and strike off Victor Coyacares or someone else, but it's a striker. Bring them, man. Nunes is a mix between Cavani and Heskey. I've never under, I'm not saying you're dissing Heskey, but whenever I see Heskey's name, I think he needs to ask KSI to send him a million pounds because you made a career of somehow convincing a younger generation that Heskey was a poor footballer. Oh, no, no. Is that pass going to make Rashford far too much on that? Far too much on that. And to be fair, you know, you look at, whenever I see this Kwanzaa guy playing, he's doing great at Liverpool at the moment, or Levi Cole who's currently injured at Chelsea, or Jude Bellingham, and I'm sure Musiala, they're all playing England youth together. And look at them all playing at high levels. Yes, he can be average, but they're moving like he's crap. He was a good, he was good in the 4-4-2. I'm not defending Heskey. Heskey missed some calamitous finishes. But the way he was hung out to dry, you would think he's a proper, proper scrub. Ian Wright, certified. Yeah, Klopp, do you know what? I mean, towards the end of his tenure at, Ars at Man said at Arsenal, at Liverpool, people are clocking that he's not been a nice guy. But that's been Klopp since day one. And I don't think it's a bad thing. What managers are nice guys or, 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 or aren't sore winners? When things are going his way, hella smiles, all those things. When they're losing, it's that. Casemiro's giving it straight back to Liverpool. To be fair, Liverpool's reaction to conceding has been quite good. Don Nunes, a fighter. He's a fighter, man. There's a method to his madness. There's a method to his madness, Darwin. Is he worth probably whatever Liverpool paid for him? Of course not. But there's a method, at least, or there appears to be a method to his madness. Half an hour left, people. Wan Bissaka, Harry Maguire. Good build up play. Oh, good drop of the shoulder by the young Mano. Got a lot of time for him, and he's, you know, fouled by McAllister. Ref has played on. I think as Mano gets older, you just got to know when to take the free kick. I don't think he's done anything wrong there, but just take the free kick. You're, you're building up a, a totting process of certain players with the ref. Casemiro, Wolf. Intercepted his pass. Casemiro's passing has been horrible today. And he's mediocre generally at best. But he makes up for, for it with them. That's what he's made his career off. Bruno Fernandes, after Casemiro's intercepted, ex intercepted his found Rashford. Kwanzaa with a good tackle. I wonder what is on his mind because you've had a decent game. You've not looked out of place, but that one moment of madness is what's going to make or shape the game potentially. This game is on every TV in America. Fair enough. Oh, is Bruno on side? Oh, if he made... Would the offside flag have been up? I think it rather belatedly would have. And the stat man Shabozla, he's got Darwin Nunes and Mohamed Salah. Is he going to go it alone? I think he fancies it. I think he fancies it. He sets it to Darwin. Darwin's floated it to the back post. Harry Maguire with an important header. Shabozla ensures the sustained Liverpool pressure remains. Robertson's shot is cannoned off a Man United man. Boy, I mean, the results there like this would be great. Bruno would have been on. It's a fantastic run from all oh, cramps. It's a fantastic. Hey, see what I do for you, lot of people, off the back of Sunday league ish. It's been a decent start to the second half. It's a decent watch for the neutrals. Casemiro looks like he's carrying a knock as well. And I'm not sure for Marcus Rashford. He's limping. He's putting his hands up. I don't know if he's asking to be subbed. I don't know if he just, it's, they're talking about something else. But nonetheless, ouch. Smash the like button, people. Pain barrier settings. 
Hey, fever, pain barrier is peak for me. I'm still out here for you lot. Joel Gomez looks to be coming on. Curtis Jones. I think Curtis Jones is a player. He's been linked with Arsenal, but I don't really believe it. As I said, it'd be interesting to see what the post club era looks like, especially the first year, because the first it's like going on a move. The first one through the door always gets collapsed. You know, Emery coming through the door after Wenger. It says it in the 48 Laws of Power. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. That's why I think Arteta was probably a bit reluctant. Rashford's on the floor, by the way. Probably going to get some. Probably reluctant to take the job after Wenger. Diallo's helping Anthony get warmed up. See, Anthony, I'm not going to lie. I say this all the time. I hate seeing this from footballers. In fact, to be fair, it don't apply to Anthony. He's just taking off his trousers. I hate to see footballers fiddling around with their shin pads. So I was right. Rashford was moving a bit mad for his sake, you know, because Rashford is one of the non-Arsenal players I do like. Does a great job with the kids and whatnot. But this is the end of his day and he looks downbeat. When I see stuff like this, you can't have, you, you had to have been a fitness doubt or doubts remain or clouds remained over your, your fitness. Joe Gomez coming on. You'd imagine that's a, surely a straight swap for Kwanzaa. Yeah, temperament. Oh, no. It's actually for young Connor Bradley. Oh, Shabazz, like the lights are looking funny. Curtis Show's going to do a madness. To be fair, RB Elliott could come on. Let me sit back down, people. Extreme ham hamstring knock. Extreme ham hamstring knock. Anthony's coming on. To be fair, say what you want about Anthony, but um, he had a great assist in midweek. DG, did you defend well today? Personally, I think I did. None of the goals came down my side. I didn't track. I tracked all my runners. One was an effing great goal. He scored from like 20 yards. Like, he just banged it. But we're all part of the collective. So if we lose 4 1, I can't say we did or I did because we'd have loved the clean sheet. Would have loved an assist. Hit the post as well. David Raya's performing well. He is. And I'm happy that we don't have to see David Raya tested. He just pick, just pick up your clean sheets. I don't really want to see my keeper with highlights packages. Because it means, you know, you naturally want your keeper to be the less busiest player on the pitch. Harry Maguire. Wan Bissaka, inverted. Maguire. Bro, Maguire, Maguire playing one, two passes. And that's where it's died. Liverpool back in possession. United have to manage the game. Both teams. Casemiro, that was Brazilian. Just done a kick, some mad kick for no reason. And he set it to Kobe Maynard. Come on, United. United can get a second. Ganacho bang it. It's your time. Starboy. Bottle did he found Wan Bissaka. Wan Bissaka, that's a good pass to young Maynard. Hey! Kobe Maynard! Kobe Maynard! This Kobe Mayno guy is special, man. He's special. Kobe Mayno is special. Absolute special. And just like that, regardless of how his career pans out at Man United, you see what they did with Martial? He's endeared himself. Clock going mad. No, no, Klopp, Klopp, no. Special, special goal from a special player. And Gareth Southgate, you were trying to say not to bring this done into the England get team. Was oh, he hasn't played too much. He hasn't played enough football. Come on, man. Some people are born to play football. He's one of them. And he's actually had a, a, a serious part to play in the initial move. Ganacho's done well to find Wambasaka. To be fair, Wambasaka's kept his composure. Found Mayno. He's bro, it's a good touch with the inside of his left. He set himself and he said his time's now. He's wrapped it. Kelly ain't no chance. I can't like Kelly looks shaky today, you know. Lovely touch, lovely goal. And you know what the nicest thing about that is? Not just for the, the lad. His mum and dad and family and loved ones are probably somewhere smiling. All their sacrifices and all them cold days, probably, you know, finishing work, having to take that lad to Man United training, like all these academies, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, matches on, on, on the weekend. Makes all that, and bearing in mind they got their own jobs, Makes all their sacrifices worth it. Cody Gakpo has come on, a player that was initially linked with Manchester United. Harvey Elliott has come on. Endo looks to have come off. So that should be a change in the system, essentially. I don't look at the league table. I don't, I don't, I don't look at the league table. So I don't know who's top of the lead or lead league or, or any of that people. I know Arsenal won yesterday. Just gotta keep just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. 
Someone tell Rom to answer his phone. Is it too early? Where's Marcel, man? You know what? You can't you can't do that with Liverpool, man. You can't. And until Man United have won this in the 90th minute, you can't get excited, man. Liverpool love coming back from the death. Obviously, Man United, we saw this week what happened as well. Kay and Ricky, and appreciate you for resubscribing with Amazon Prime as well. Josh as well, if I haven't said that. Liverpool fans not answering the phone. And you'll never walk alone. All them thing there. No, not answering. He's special, man. Special. Had a quiet game, but that's what players do. If you're not going to have a great game across 90 minutes, not to say he's bad, you take the club's burden on your shoulders and bag, man. Hey, right, Dominic, answers are not, calls are not answering, man. People are not answering. You can hear it. People are not answering. So I'm just going to leave a nice message for Roms. Roms, big up yourself wherever you are. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? What's going on? You had the utter cheat to message me saying, make sure we win this weekend. I'm not going to say anything. Just know there'll be further dialogue in the 90th minute. Boy, big test for Liverpool. It's too early, you know, we'll bottle it. Too early to get happy. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. But then again, you know what? United, if you could even make Liverpool drop two points, that's cool. Is it our time? God, please, man. It's been 20 odd years. Some Arsenal fans have grown up and not seen us win the league. Come on, boys. I cannot be more emotionally invested to a degree in this game than Arsenal yesterday because you know what you know what we do. We just turn up up the teams all up and down the country and win. Great composure by Onana. Otega be proud of that. The lot. I, I, there's a third here for Man United, you know. There's a third. Smash the light button. There's a third. If you don't want it, there's a third. Anthony, Casemiro. I can actually fucking shout for that. Casemiro, you bottled that pass initially. Go on, go on, Nacho. Come on, star boy. Come on. Boy, come on, man. There's a third. United, I need to see a third. Big up yourself in a circle. In a circle. This is the championship vibes. Every game matters. Is it time for Ten Hag green screen? Big up Rance. Tell Rance to, you know, make an Arsenal special discount code. We want them Ten Heisenberg shirts back, man. This could be lit. Never walk alone. But we swear at the Emirates. If you never walk alone, why is Van Dijk on his own? It's... Boy. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I had to get coffee, man. Always had that. Weekend looking good right now. The thing is, they aren't playing at Anfield. Otherwise, I'd be expecting a comeback from Liverpool. For me, at the start of the stream, I'd still expect Liverpool to fight back and it's not done. I don't think they'll drop points at Anfield. So we need them to have these bumps and bruises across the road. Points from losing position, the most in the Premier League. Liverpool have recovered 26. Only better... What, no, it's better than City's 24. That shows you, you know, that is champions mentality. Spurs is up there as well, but in their case, it's just them being crap. Kwanzaa are attacking. You thought you was young Van Dijk, and you're going to learn today, bro. McAllister, that's a ball. I come on, Kim, Kimwala, Kimwala, forgive me for mispronunciations. I, you know what? I like him. He's a bit booky as a defender, but I can see you're a passion merchant. And you're unorthodox, which I don't like, but I like at the same time. I, I ain't got no Scouser accent. Liverpool, right back. I ain't got I ain't got that in the locker, man. I, ain't, I don't know. I ain't got that in the locker, man. I can't lie. Maguire's been solid after main old man of the match so far. Slyly. Harvey Elliott. McAllister. Liverpool are going to grab a goal, man. I'm slyly saying this a number of times. So, you know, the opposite happens. Hoysland, come on, show me something. Come on, Hoysland. Don't be left-footed for no reason. Poor pass to Ganacho. Ganacho done well to even get the shot across. All right, come on. They're rattled. Ten Hag, for once in your managerial career, manage that in, please. Imagine what damage a defeat will do to Liverpool's confidence. You hope so, but you've got no choice but to get on with it. Because the wickedest thing is right now is happy. Arsenal still got to go out and do what they need to do. Allegedly, I don't look at the league table. City still need to do what they need to do. Come on, man. Unite Alex Ferguson, please. Pay the money to the refs. You had them in your pocket for like 20, 30 years. Pay the money to the refs. Dodgy penalty decision. 3-1 United. We need this. We need this. DG, what will you do if Arsenal win the championship? 
nine months from now I'll be announcing a, a son or daughter to be honest with you cry as well be the dream be the absolute dream boy every drop point is vital liverpool have to win or watch them wobble listen and that's the biggest thing which i don't think will happen as well i'd love for liverpool to have a knock-on effect like they lose today and they lose whenever hopefully the europa league stretches the team further i mean how can Klopp complain about that tackle from Kimbala? Fair enough, Klopp. Fair enough, Klopp. But okay. He's been booked. That's madness. That's utter madness. Who have Liverpool got next? Well, they stop off midweek against Atalanta. Pardon me for starters. Fulham away. I right, come on. They're actually on the road for... A... No, no, I'm lying. I'm actually lying. They play Atalanta. Then they've got Crystal Palace on Sunday. Then they've got the, the the away leg or the second leg against Atalanta. Then they're away from home for a bit. They've got Fulham away, Everton away, West Ham away. Please, please. And then on the 5th of May, they've got it's Liverpool, Tottenham. They'll deal with that, though, man. Come on, boys, please. No matter how this ends, I think it's clear we're the most solid team of the three at the moment. <laughs> they got yourself dominant. If Chelsea had anything about them, they could have sent Klopp off empty handed. Just got to get on with it. Only thing Arsenal could do is win their games. After the Chelsea United game, I'm waiting until the final. We listen, because all the talk is going to be about we know Liverpool love a comeback and all of this. United love to throw things in the bin. And I can only imagine Man United fans heart racing, like wherever it is, probably beating. United managed the game, man. I thought Heuslin was clotheslined there. Wan Bissak has knocked it forward. Get your body there, Ganacho. Get your body there. You got scared to Van Dyke. You got shook. Van Dyke's done very well to find Gomez. Gomez, McAllister, Joe Gomez, Harvey Elliott. Another player that's great in tight spaces. Kit skips out Van Dyke, finds Robertson. Andy, Andy Robertson. Liverpool have scored 26 goals from minute 76 onwards in the Premier League. Arsenal have 17, Luton have 17, Newcastle have 17, and Tottenham Hotshot have 16. Or could they be back in here? Diaz delivers. wan heads it, falls to Gomez. It's deflected. Oh, okay. Oh, Nana thankfully into his hands. Gomez, who I don't feel, I don't think has scored for Liverpool, could have made a name for himself there. I mean, Luton are a good coach, fairly coached team, but you don't, I don't see City losing a game in what's left of stuff. You know, they might, it might not be pretty, but I personally don't see City dropping points. I think it's just a case of, you know, whoever's top at the moment, you just got to keep running fast. Oh, no, no. They've got Luton on the 13th of April, my birthday. They've got... I'm definitely not cheering on Spurs, but they've got to play Spurs at White Hart Lane at some point. They've got Brighton away. Who they really got, though? Yeah, I don't see City dropping points. I don't. I mean, if they get the fourth peak, that would be crazy. Joe Gomez, to be fair, it's been a fairly positive impact off the bench from him. Mohamed Salah, Harvey Elliott. Joe Gomez keeps it alive. Salah, McAllister, Curtis Jones. Knocks it to Robertson. Robertson to Diaz. Luis Diaz, what can he do? I don't think even he knows. Finds Robertson. Sorry, Curtis Jones. Liverpool looking to be patient. Looks like there's, a, like there's a reluctance to just put the ball into the box. Van Dijk. Kwanzaa. Harvey Elliott. That's a decent knock. It's a good header. And Bruno Fernandes has just got something on it. Liverpool trying to apply the pressure. Man United having to live a bit dangerously. You're mad, man. Expect to see a 200th minute winner from Liverpool. Make it 3-1 to truly break them. We need that sucker punch, man, but I can't see it happening. We've got 186 likes. Can we get to as close to 200 in the remaining 12 minutes of this game as possible? You just have a feeling there's another there's another goal. I think someone had a 2-2 shout earlier. He might be on. My shout's out the window. I got the scoreline right, but <laughs> if it stays like this, but the wrong teams. Someone tell Casemiro he got times poor from him. Joe Gomez. Oh, Diaz, Salah, hey! And what could be pivotal in the title race? 
I think it's a more difficult finish. Then we can give it credit with the follow up, but it's poor from Salah. I'm saying 5 2 against Villa. They're going to move to them, man. Colby is what I wanted in Sambi. He's more confident than Sambi. Yeah, Sambi Lakonga. Clear out the, the London Coley locker, please. It's been real. It's been real. Just fetch 20 million. Amrabat's on. I can't lie. I always forget this guy's at United. The nachos come off. So is that an inverted Bruno kind of role? Let's see what Ten Hag's got. I asked him to be a manager and that's a defensive substitute, which isn't a bad thing. Shows proactiveness. Oh, Nana needs to take a yellow card for the gang. When he's ready, oh, he's, well, to be fair, he's done that. Oh, Nana's been given a yellow card. You can, you, you know, you can afford to run that risk a couple more times. The referee don't want to be the ref to send, you know, a goalie off for two yellows. If we don't capitalise, then I don't know what will go on. Man, you invites all danger. Come on, United, three one for the win. Do us the favour. Salah, Bradley, Gomez, Anthony's intercepts. Kazim, I Casemiro, man, hang up the boots, big man. You're not it, Cody Gapo. Oh, he's killed Diaz. Diaz should be able to keep that in, but he's killed him. Robertson, Jones, Diaz. Ten minutes left, folks. Anthony appealing. He thinks that he. It should be their throw. It's a Liverpool throw deep in Man United territory. It's taking quicker than I can follow the game. Keep going, lads. Come on. It's within sight. Come on, United, man. Charlotte Ferguson is there. Kwanzaa. Come on, lads, man. Kobe Maino is the first 18-year-old to score a Premier League goal against Liverpool since Cesc Fabregas for Arsenal in May 2005 and is Manchester United's youngest scorer against the Reds in the competition. Ridiculous. And what a time to get your first goal as well. You know, it's been a great couple... It's actually been a great couple of weeks for Kobe Maino. Made his debut for England, got a start for England, done very well, scored today. New contract's probably pending. Casemiro gets an interception. He's done well at those aspects, but Casemiro on the ball has been horrible today. As you can see, not helped Bruno out at all. Kwanzaa, whose mistake is obviously one of the reasons we're here. Oh, that's a pen. That's so stupid. So stupid from wan -Bissaka. There you go. Stupid. Sliding for no reason. And just like that, they're back in the game. This is why you don't celebrate until the game's done. Silly, out of nothing. What are you doing? What are you doing? I said I didn't want VAR drama. Why? When the ball is there to be won. Slyly, though, it is a pen. But when they slow it down, really? wan you've got to be match-fixing, man. You have to be. There was 0% logic with doing that. I mean... McAllister has been one of the most clutch players this season and for Liverpool and has rarely let them down. Or is Cody Gapo going to take it? Oh, he's McAllister. I mean, I don't know about the slap in the bum of Mo Salah. That's a bit mad McAllister still. Salah's going to take it. Now, I saw him miss one at Anfield, but he don't do that. Apparently, he has, you know, scored 31 penalties from 38 for Liverpool. He's missed his last four in the eleven. So silly from wan -Bissaka. In your area as well. And I'm sure, you know, of all the thousands of United fans that are there, nobody in that stadium more than obviously wan -Bissaka. I hope that that is missed. Salah ain't missing that. The ball's not even staying on the, the penalty spot. You, you've seen the script before. He's going to bag... Go around, get the ball. They're not going to want to give him the ball. It's game one. All right, you know what? 3 2 Liverpool is my is my shout. Mohamed Salah. Bro, man, expect Onana to dive the right way. Come on now, man. As you can see, we've seen the story before. It feels like FIFA. He's ran, gone, and got the ball. Liverpool about to get that third. 
Shout out to Liverpool and shout out to Mohamed Salah. It's been four goals here today. Good pen by Salah. Done what he needed to do. And that's why it's 2-2 two -two currently. I don't know what Wamba Saka's thinking. Wamba Saka, you just ruined Kobe Knight's and Kobe Mano's night. And that is United season in a nutshell. What's that? Back to get back to back games with those pens. Not sure about that sub by Ten Hag. They need a third. They don't need to let Liverpool have a goal with no threat to catch them on the break. He's done this so many times as well. Salah has 11 goals. That's the most in the Premier League against Manchester United. One more than Alan Shearer. Man said, what can Andrew Tate do for us? Kobe Maynard's come off. You're acting. You're acting. I'm trying to do the Captain Fantastic match of the day highlights with, with Mason Mount. He's surely been one of the worst signings. No favours for anyone. Boy, it's about to be free too, man. Anthony, terrible clearance. Finds Luis Diaz. Diaz finds Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones dilly dallying on the ball, but Liverpool still have it. Slightly, I can't lie. I was hoping Salah missed. I was hoping. I was slightly hoping he missed. As it stands, apparently Arsenal still top of the table on goal difference. One point behind, in front, sorry, of City. Same goes for Liverpool. We know what time it is. And it's like, as we've been saying, while we all know Liverpool are the comeback kings and whatnot, it's take nothing away from Liverpool, but it's more about Man United having that self-capitulation aspect in them. Harry Maguire, De Lott, Casemiro, Curtis Jones finds Robertson. This left-hand side is going to ruin Man United's day further. And there it is into the left-hand channel. Can Diaz keep that on? De Lott's made the tackle. Is it going to go out for a goal kick or is it a throw-on? Goal kick or corner, sorry. And unfortunately, Diaz and lot are both down. I don't know if they hit the adver advertising boards. We hope both men are okay. We've got 200 likes. You look ridiculous. Appreciate it. Sub Ganacho to hold a lead. You've just, you've just lost. Look at this guy. Hamad said Aaron one dimensional was true at the end of the day. It's true. It's true. Why did he, why did he, why did he shoot? I mean, why did he slide though? Like, he had no need to attempt that. He shouldn't have done that. Like, obviously, if he makes the tackle, he's a hero, but the risk to award was terrible. And I guess you've got to give credit to Jurgen Klopp because Elliot's come on and won the pen. And you just hope, with Jurgen Klopp's departure, you hope Mo Salah follows him out. I don't think we've seen enough goals here today, folks. I'd love United to get the third because of what it could do for Arsenal. I don't think anyone expects anyone but Liverpool to back, really. Dangerous territory now for both teams. As I said, entertainment is something as an Arsenal fan. I don't want any parts in. Diaz, Harry Maguire, take your hands off him. Good hold-up play by Diaz. Harry Maguire, take your hands off him. Oh, there's a bit of argy-bargy. Bit of argy-bargy. Oh, Diaz is nibbling. Pause. Fight, man. Come on. Harry Maguire, don't take that, man. It's the, it's the hope that kills in life. More so Man United fans today. I know we're more, we're more putting an Arsenal spin on it, but yeah, man, it could have felt like United of old for some fans. They could be forgiven for thinking that. Harvey Elliott, Mo Salah, Amrabat. Bro, this Amrabat guy, elite fraud, a bit like his manager, Ten Hag. Both bold, by the way. Don't look. That's not the same Don that was doing stuff for Morocco. That's a good tackle. Maybe you are. Hoysland pass it. Lovely turn by Hoysland. Pass it, man. Hey, blood. Oh, ref. That's a late one on Amrabat. And surely Curtis Jones goes in the book. He does. Let's work jinx together. Let's work together to jinx Liverpool. They'll score. Exactly. Last minute winners. We've seen it before. Mo Salah's going to take his shirt off and start running up and down. We've seen this. Slightly, I'm saying this multiple times so that the opposite happens. I'm hoping to talk something into existence, but it's not going to happen. Ref, how long? Can't be too much added on time. Can't be too much, Ref. 
You know what? Two points dropped for Liverpool, for Liverpool is, is, is a win in many books. Even though, until it's done, it's not done. Mount competing, but competing not good enough. Gets a slide touch in it. That's a late one from Wamba Saka. Salah's in here. Mohamed Salah. Bruno Fernandes with some great defending of all people, if I'm honest. Boy, it's in the balance. Come on, Sir Alex Ferguson, man. Pay the bills. Pay whatever the men and women at Stockley Park require. Come on, dodgy penalty. I'm here for it. Wonder how long's going to be added on. We're into the 89th minute. Ref, how long? Robertson. You just have to hope Liverpool out of steam, which isn't going to happen. Diaz. You kicked off the goal scoring fun here today. Finds Harvey Elliott, who's had a great impact. Had a great impact at Old Trafford, to be fair. Obviously, he made that mistake. Oh, gosh. Casemiro, what kind of. Uh, Casemiro's fresh, man. Casemiro's smoking something before this game. Bruno Fernandes is defending better than him. Casemiro's been bugging out today. Seven minutes of added on time. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Draw is our only hope. It's gone, man. It's gone, man. Seven minutes. You know what time it is from Liverpool. Seven minutes. We've seen this, man. It's written in the stars, man. This is why these men are winning the league. Look, every time it looks like they're going to lose, corner kick is falling all the way to Salah. The offside flags come up. Just defend. They can't, though. They can't. They're kind of damned if they do, damned if they don't. Ten Hag ain't used all five subs. Come on, Ten Hag. Run the subs, man. You got the talented young Harry Amass on the bench. Bring him on with 30 seconds left to go. Come on. And I mean... Three points is an L in United's top four hopes. And draws kind of an L for Liverpool. So they're both playing for something. But at what point do both managers just be humble? Six minutes left, folks. Bruno Fernandes scored his 50th Premier League goal today, by the way, people. In the first, apparently, Man United have failed to record. And to be honest, for large periods of the game, Man United have failed to record a single shot in the first half of a Premier League game for the first time since April 2022, which was also against Liverpool. And the first time since Octo first time at Old Trafford since October 2015 versus Manchester City. Boy, Wamba Saka, why did you have to do that, man? Everything was calm. You just got to have hope, my guy deluded. Forget the hope thing, man. We've seen this. Hoysland. Bruno Fernandes, unorthodox, but finds Hoysland. Hoysland getting inspired, trying skills. You're not the guy, man. wan unfortunately, got an assist. Was done terrible. Cody Gakpo accelerating. Oh, Mason Mount. That was a bit of a see you next Tuesday tackle, weren't it? He made a tactical foul. Big him up. Took a yellow card. Everyone else be on the same wave, man, please. Free kick to Liverpool. It's taken by McAllister. Harvey Elliott. Mount Wambasaka. Wambasaka needs to get his head in check, man. He's giving it away cheaply once again. These are the things that are going to harm you. And this is why no football fan has confidence. You'll see this through. I mean, both teams have led at a point. Both teams have been trailing. So it depends. Is it one point drop to a two points game for both teams? Not serious at all. This ball's been driven to the back post. Robertson's headed it back a clear. Oh my God. Did, would the offside flag have come up anyways? Diaz threw everything he had at it. On another day, it probably goes in the back of the net, but at this moment, not. Who's Anthony getting in handbags with? I think Amrabat. Who's Anthony? Yeah, I, I, Anthony, do that. Do that. Go play left back for what's left. Who is he beefing? Sky Sports focuses on the wrong things. What happened? He's not happy he was pulled by Robertson. 
Nah, we acting for no reason. He subbed Maino, I don't know, man. To be fair, Maino is a young individual learning how to play week in, week out. I will say that in his defence, but it is baffling to me. Ten Hag's got to be a closet Liverpool fan. He has to be. Some of the things he does don't make sense. Come on, lads. Three more minutes. Three more minutes is all we're asking for. Casemiro is actually cooked. Anthony is paper soft. It's way too hot-headed. Dialo. Bruno Fernandes has turned that terrible pass from his teammate into a good one. And it's Anthony. Come on, make a name for yourself, Anthony. Oh, come on, come on. Bruno, come on, come on. Oh, he tried to snake it and give it back to Anthony. It didn't bang. Everyone's got to get back. Anthony's there going, hey, fucking jog back, you twat. Sorry for the language. Everyone else is getting back. He's going, oh, no, I could have scored. Bro, come on. This is why you're in what the mess you're in. Away from the club currently that you're, that you're playing for. Anthony got to learn to attack. Oh, I love him. He does, man. We don't condone that. But Nana keeps burning the kitchen. None of the United man care. There seems to be an issue with just clearing the ball. Yep. Two minutes left. Two minutes left, folks. Come on, man. If this was Mikel Arteta, it'd be cool. Curtis Jones. Oh, we gave him a free kick. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. Wait, oh, Nano, please, please. No one has to be a hero. He slide slipped when he took that. Q, who did you kick that to? Joe Gomez. Kwanzaa takes no risk and clears it first time. Maguire heads it first time. You're moving shook, man. T tell your teammates they got time. Yeah, Casemiro, it's time to learn either Chinese or Arabic, man. It's time to go Saudi League or it's, chi or it's time to go Chinese League or it's time to go S South Korean League like Lingard. It's time to cut. Oh, you know, it could be in here. Anthony. <laughs> Nah. For Anthony, that's good. He got a shot on time. Come on. There's a couple seconds. There's a couple seconds left. All right, Anthony tracking back. Lovely, see? Lovely. Lovely. See what happens when you just get on with it and stop moaning. Crying like a little kid. Amrabat. That was a poor pass from you. See why your loan's not going to turn permanent? Oh, wait. What? It didn't go out of play? No, it's 2v2. Diaz has just made something out of nothing. Yeah, United are going to move mad. It's 20 seconds. Oi, Quimbala. Is that Quimbala? Sorry, it's Casemiro. It's a great tackle. That's a great tackle. Why is Casemiro moving guilty? This could be more serious than I think. Okay, it's just a humble yellow card for Casemiro. Just deep. I was 18 the last time Arsenal won the league. Brazy. I was in primary school. Fair to say life has life since then. Come on, boys. Boy. It's written in the stars, man. It's written in the stars. Last kick of the game. Set piece to Liverpool. I've never witnessed Arsenal in the league. I'm 20. Dying. In swinging corner. Harvey Elliott. All right, Anano. Anano. Relax. Ref, rapido, rapido, rapido. <laughs> yes! Liverpool 2, Man United 2. A couple of you said 2-2. Two, two. You're bang on. You know, again, it depends how you look at it. Did United salvage something because they conceded? Did Liverpool salvage something because they were trailing at a point? Or is it two points dropped for Liverpool, both in terms of the title race and also because they were leading? Pardon me, as I said at half time, where Liverpool are concerned, they needed to score more. Let that be a lesson to Arsenal. You can say what you want about United. We've been seeing them get embarrassed up and down the country all season. They've got something off or, or, off you lot. And Arsenal, we've got we have to go to Old Trafford. I mean, once Wambasaka's gone from being a hero to a zero, you know, he made he was part of the assist for Colby Mayno, and then a bit of brain loss from him. He's just done mad. Two two will take it. 
if you can't win, don't lose, I guess. So I guess City and Arsenal, somewhere happy. Liverpool fans, please pick up phones. Please. Please. A man said, a man said, I'm not on, I'm not answering. I said we draw two two. Leave me alone. Roms, man. Don't be like that, man. Don't be like that, Roms, man. Don't be like that, man. He's being scared. Don't be like that, man. I hate football fans that can give it but can't take it. Happy days. I don't know we're top of the lead, but we gotta keep going. We just have to keep going. Took two wonder goals. What a goal that was from Bruno. What a goal that was from Bruno Fernandes. And Kobe Maynard's one wasn't too bad either. But that's United. They, you know, they show certain good patches across the season. I mean, across a game. Show some great individual quality with Bruno's goal and, and, and Maynard's. Let themselves down defensively. And it just ticks on. I mean, United have, you know, United are not going to, they're not going to get top four. I mean, I'd rather them or Aston Villa do it. Of course, I'd love to see Spurs capitulate, but it's a two-horse race for the fourth place. You'd imagine Arsenal, Liverpool and City will be in the Champions League next season. You know, Aston Villa have played two games more than 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 Spurs and have free, have a three-point lead on them. Manchester United have 49 points. The team above them in Spurs has 57. So, at best, probably solidify sixth. And as much as people get onto Chelsea, tell you United and Chelsea have had terrible seasons. Chelsea actually only six points off. And there's only two points that separate Newcastle United, Manchester United and West Ham United. So there's a lot to play for. The, the, whoever wins the league is not decided. Whoever gets the last place in the Champions League isn't decided in the league with, what, 10, well, anything from, well, anything from eight, nine, seven games left for certain teams or six or whatever. That's not decided. Champions League, Europa League, Champions League place, Europa League places aren't decided. Relegation, it's a formality from, for Sheffield United. Burnley are probably gone. Luton probably have the chance to make an escape and we're at that point of the season. You know, you would love Nottingham Forest to beat Spurs today for obvious reasons. You'd love, you'd love Luton to beat Manchester City in their next game, but that's wishing on a star, an absolute star, which probably isn't going to happen. 240 likes, you'll have been ridiculous. So, yeah, man. You gooners ain't welcome. Looks like Elliot was falling before the contact. Slyly. Yeah, I swear there was no contact for the pen. Or am I watching the wrong angle? I can't lie. The last angle they showed, it looked like it wasn't, it was looking for it. But yeah, man. I'll be back for the up along, my guy. Appreciate that. Ten hard guys talk about Arsenal, the press conference. It's in our hands now. But hey, let's keep going. I thought they'd get smoked, so this is a result. And when you look at that, yeah, man. Again, it comes down to finishing your dinner. And Liverpool had plenty of chances where they didn't do that. And any it's the hope that kills, or it festers and it grows. And Liverpool failed to kill Man United's hope today. It's been a great weekend, man. It's been a great, great weekend. I guess when you look at it from a, that angle, it's been a great weekend. Boy, I think there'll be elements of disappointment for both Ten Hag and Klopp, but all in all, boy. Fair enough. I'm watching on French channels. I didn't see any contact in my shot. We have to beat Villa. We have to win all our games. He didn't have to go to ground. That's the issue. It's true. If you, you know, Sunday league, you have to stay on your feet. But, I mean, that's a pen in the Premier League, rightly or wrongly. Harvey Elliott's been smart. What I would say with wan don't give someone... Don't give the... You hear it in Sunday league. Don't give the referee an opportunity to think about it. You know, I wonder what his reasonings are behind that are. You know, the margins for error sliding in your box, the risk to reward, it's not high. Did you have to do that? United are garbage, but they gave me something. Man, you fam really love Arsenal, boy. I wanted United to win so we could be a bit clearer. We have to beat United as well. Then I'll say we won the league. Boy, if we can get something that old Trafford would laughing. On the replay, that was in a pen, but Liverpool have been robbed in the past, so it balances out. Fakes to United for drop points. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. You can't have it all, man. Doesn't top five get Champions League? I have heard that and I should do my homework around it. But if it does, then yeah, that, that could be a lifeline. But even that, right now, United are not top five. <laughs> they're sixth. So they're going to need to pattern up. As Toby said, wasted chances galore, man. That's fundamentally where it starts and stops for me. 
In relation to that, though, people, I'm off to edit the tactical video in relation to Arsenal and Brighton. As usual, you know, appreciative to you lot watching the game with me, talking about the game with me and all of those sort of things. The support is amazing. Tuesday, we're watching Arsenal by Munich. I think Wednesday, we're going to definitely watch PSG Barcelona. And there's always content, man. So, yeah, man. I don't know why he slid. Why he, why he slid. Why he slid. Uh, I will take a few players from United, but Maino would be probably the one I'd wholeheartedly be convinced on. I saw something else. Apparently, Arsenal are top and have, have it in their hands. I don't know. I haven't checked the table since August for it. It's just about being better than you was yesterday. Manny, you're a smart lad, man. Absolute smart lad. So, yeah. I don't look at the table. Hopefully, we're up there, though. As you said, man. As you said, this is the most exciting Premier League season in a long time. I feel like we say that every year, but you're right, man. You're right. You're right. So, yeah, big up you lot, people. Let me get out of here. You know, some fullbacks can see penalties to cost their team points. Others score. Oh, 